hold up. Joe, I listened to that podcast and I was like, I'm with him, right? That sounds really cool. And then Chris Humphrey's heart fouls and Kevin Garnett, he pushes him straight to the third row. Let's go! My name is Dave, this is Joe, let's go! This is the Boston Sports Nerds Podcast, the BS Nerd Show. Joe, you got anything you want to say for you? No, we have talked a lot. We have talked a lot. Nothing left of the tank. Let's go. Welcome back, everybody. This is the 39th, 38th, 39th episode. Something like that. High 30s uh, <laughs> to, to, to the Boston Sports Nerds podcast. Almost at the Dave. big 4 0. Almost at the big 4 0. We're almost yeah. right there. Uh, so 39th. 39th. Nailed it. Uh, so this is the 39th episode of the Boston Sports Nerds podcast. My name is Dave. I'm accompanied by my two fellow nerds here. Host of WCP. Aaron. And the host of Joe's Fancy Field Goal. Joe. There he is. All right. It's kind of tough because your name's already in it. Yeah. It's, uh, <laughs> so the, that's that's why I thought the Ben joke was funny at the, the time. Ben joke and then it, uh, it's, it's gone on now. Yeah. So whatever. We'll keep I it. made Ben's uh, a Facebook page for Ben and then I deleted it. Because he's on sabbatical in Wisconsin. Yeah. Right? Still? He doesn't. He, he requested that he not be on any social media. <laughs> I dig it. Yeah, I dig uh, it. he wants to keep his privacy. It's good. Uh, so, Patriots won big, kind of. Played really well. <laughs> kind of? Well. They won like 42 to 20. No. Right? No, no it was like 36-20. No, I thought they scored 40 points. No. No. No, it was 36 to 20. Oh. Um, defense still didn't look great. Got me negative one in fantasy. 20. Yeah, 36-20. I feel like that game was like. It, it felt a lot. No, I feel like it's it's literally been a month. Like I feel it like that game like was like a month away. Yeah, I agree like a month with you. ago. I agree with you there. Uh, it also the score is a little misguided. The Patriots had complete control of that game early. Like that didn't feel like a two score game to me. I was uh, very impressed with the defense. They got me negative one in fantasy, so I feel differently about that. But well, don't go by fan. They held the Saints offense to 20 points. It was sort of the Vikings. Yeah, but the like, Vikings they, have a very good defense. Or is it possible that the Saints offense is not as good as we think it's going to be? I think the Saints offense had two good matchups. Yeah. I also think well, bad matchups for the Saints mm, offense, but good yeah, good mat right. good defense. But I also think that you're missing two key things. Or you're missing one key thing and you have another thing playing against you. Willie Sneed being out. Willie Sneed being out and also you not having – I, I feel like they don't have that because it didn't um, – who's their big stud receiver that they had? They got him in like the sixth round. Like Is that about Michael ago. Thomas? Michael Thomas. No, no, no. They have a different guy. No, he's good. I'm talking about the other guy that used to be there, Mar- Marquise. Marcus um, Marquise Colston? Yeah, Colston. He's gone for a while. Yeah, That's what I'm saying, but like they don't have that – Right. I right. feel like you don't have that guy, and then without. They don't you don't have a possession receiver. But if you have Thomas. You, you have Thomas. I think but, Michael Thomas. But you don't have Sneed, the extra guy mm. that kind of. The, I have Ted Ginn. Yeah, but Ted Ginn. Sneed's a better receiver than I was going to say, Ted, Ted Ginn. Ginn. Ted Ginn as a third option is really where I think he'll do a lot of damage. Where right. he's like the guy that. He's, he's just your like number two. That's not good. See him run down the seam. But. Yeah. What's crazy? Well, they did. They used that kid, uh, Coleman or whatever. He had. Yeah. He had, some big plays he had okay because game. I think the Pats were just okay with letting him do letting whatever. Him go crazy, yeah. Because Michael Thomas was held in check, like he didn't have an insane game. It wasn't insane. I thought he, he. I think he got his though. I felt yeah, like he had an okay game. What like, he had, I, I, I thought he went for like six like for five 90. or six receptions. I don't think yeah. he had ninety yards. Did he? Uh, I thought. I thought he did. I could be wrong. I, I can pull that up. But and I looked up the because we were talking about how like is is. Uh, the one thing that, like, from the defensive side that I was trying to pay attention to, and the reason why I didn't notice anything out of uh, Harris, Harris did not play a snap. He didn't Sunday. dress, did he? I, I don't know if I he dressed, think, but he didn't exactly. play. Or if he did, he didn't accumulate a stat. The linebacker from the Jets? Yes. That's the second week in a row where he... No, he, week one he had a tackle. Right. They were, week was two, a combined he tackle. didn't have They were anything. playing yeah. that Cassius Marsh kid again. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, They're, they must. He really seems like, like uh, he was watching him, watching them play this week. It seems like uh, when he was in coverage that play against yeah, Kareem Hunt, yeah, and he got torched. That's because I think he's way more of like a three-four outside linebacker 
kind of linebacker, like a pass rusher, mm-hmm. and not a actual linebacker. Right. right. Yeah, but I think because they were using him a lot to rush the quarterback. No, mm-hmm. you're you're right. But the f- problem with that is the way New England uses their pass rushing linebackers is every once in a while they do have to drop back into coverage. Right. So he's going to have to learn Which, that in their defensive oh, system, and I think he will. Yeah. But the week after he got there, right. You yeah. Know what oh, I mean? yeah. Yeah. He's yeah. Just, yeah. I don't think he was ready for that. Right. Uh, Michael Thomas went for five for eighty nine. Oh, close. Enough. Close. Yeah. 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 Uh, I mean, I thought, can, he, I thought he had a good game. Good night. But rate, it but. should tell you something that I just didn't think he had that good of a game. Like they, right. even though he did quietly, whatever, he just didn't make a mark. He, he on wasn't the a game. game breaker or anything. No. Right. Right. No, I get that, and that's what I mean. I think the score. Stats, Plus, how whatever, many of those yards kind of came after the Pats dropped into that weird like <clears throat> prevent shell yeah. thing that they? I fu- by the way, I fucking hate, hate when they do that. Right, me too. I why not just keep playing the defense that stops them? Right, it's worked you know? all game. Or but, I just don't want to give up a big play. Well, you haven't yet. Right. So why do you think it's going to happen now? Right. No, you true. know who loves to do that. Belichick. That's Belichick. Like right. I can't even. Like, you can't even get mad at the coordinator for right. that. That's Belichick going. This is how I run my fucking defense. Yeah, I just don't like that idea. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, my majority of my problems with our with our team is they play, especially when they're ahead, it's so conservative. It's like – That's what I And like. I understand on offense you play conservative if you've got a big enough lead. But – Don't you, do it on both sides of the ball. Or – don't give them an opportunity. Right. Well, that's Never the thing. Is, I give, don't, you know, sorry. No, no, no. No, my bad. I was just going to say, I don't think that they play conservative offensively Yeah. at the end of the game because Brady's still throwing passes while they're up in the fourth quarter. Like, you keep your starting quarterback in, they're up 20 points. They you did I mean? seem to slow down, though. They slowed the pace. No, like, I'm throwing, just saying. He they was still s- throwing, throwing passes with they, five well, minutes of left. Course, obviously, mm-hmm. they slowed down. They scored three touchdowns in the first quarter. Right. Yeah. Well, of course, yeah so, yeah, right. from there on, all you do is slow down. Right. Yeah. Are you, are you going to do it, or are you just going to wait till Sunday to do it? Or I have to hear it like five times? Uh, just, that'll be an in-person thing. Okay. I'll annoy you, not the listeners. Okay. We'll do that. Right. Yeah, yeah. But, hey, did you know that Tom Brady won AFC Offensive Player of the Week this week? You know what? I didn't. And he broke the record for most Offensive Players of the Week. He's yeah. now the most all-time Offensive Player of the Week. Yeah, he Bro- beat Peyton, Peyton Manning's of was 27. Tw- yeah, now he has 28. 28 now. So there's that. It you, you you're not getting the joke, Joe. Well, Last year when LeGarrette Blunt did it like one week, he won. He won AFC Offensive Player of the Week like week one or two or whatever. Yeah, and he went and then on he won for Offensive Player of the Month. Yeah, and then it was like he went on for the next three months to tell me that. Right. Every week he's like, "Yo, did you know yeah. LeGarrette Blunt got there, like two months ago got there, play, yeah. <laughs> player of the month?" And I'm AFC like, "The offensive player of the month in September." There he goes. <laughs> Every time you got to hand should, off. Uh, it's like, oh god. LeGarrette Blunt should hand that, hang that up in his house too, because I don't think he's going to be winning any kind of any offensive. Of no, you know what he's going to win. He's going to want to dance off with kids in the stands. He's going to see that win. video. Yes, yeah. he's going to win uh, first. Trip to Dancing with the Stars. Yes, I don't think he's gonna be playing football much longer. I don't either. I agree with you. So the Saints game, you feel good? It all is right in the world. We good? No, but no. Yeah. What's wrong? I just once again like watching the game. I I'm big on like especially Tom Brady had 400 yards passing. <laughs> I'm not talking about Tom Brady. Like, okay, so if you had 400 yards passing out of your all pro quarterback, your quote unquote goat of the of the NFL. They won by two scores. Why wouldn't you put in your backup? They never do. They never. They don't even like to. Tom Brady doesn't like to come off the field in week seventeen when they have the the. They're gonna have the freaking AFC East clinched by fucking week nine. Right. Yeah. And right. Tom Brady's gonna be like, I'm playing the last seven. I mean, right. Ain't no way you keep me off the field. I don't want him to change. If you start coaching in fear, then. I don't like it. No, I'm not saying that, but putting him putting somebody in the game where you take Tom Brady out of it so he doesn't get hit late That's in the game. The fear. That's fear. Can we talk about Why are you doing it because you don't want Tom Brady to get hurt? I don't want Tom Brady to get hurt. Right. Like I'm okay with that. Fear, right? but, but like right. he's saying we're we're passing later in the game. Right. I don't want to see Tom Brady get hit. Of course. But no, if I you're gonna either. keep making plays, right. put in the fucking backup. For all I care is Garoppolo see, loses I don't his see, arm. I don't want to see Garoppolo get hit. Yeah, that to be too. honest with you, that's true. I mean, I'd rather Garoppolo get hurt than Brady. I'd rather Obviously. neither of them get hurt. <laughs> right? Yeah. No, but I, like, gun to my head, choose one. Brady's ACL, Garoppolo's ACL. I'm like, oh yeah, Garoppolo t- could lose both his legs right. in a tragic accident. 
<laughs> that's what I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Right. And so, defensively, the big thing that I took away from it is watching Butler gave up six. There were six passes against. Or and didn't he, even start. And he, I mean, in the way they play their defense, two doesn't help because they like to play with like a three, three safety, safety. Nickel. Yeah, so it's it doesn't even really put him on the field as much. Right. But he gave up a touchdown. I want to say I forgot who it was. He mm-hmm. gave up a touchdown to someone. He, he the Coleman. He gave up like six for ninety or something like that and Not a touchdown. Good. Not good. Yeah. Malcolm was, Butler is on his way. Yeah. Yeah. So that was going to be, that was gonna be my next question. Does he finish the season on this team? Nope. Nope. And it's not to what's, the Saints. But what's crazy is... I'm kind of with you that no. I agree with that. What's crazy to me is it's they brought it up like every year Belichick trades away some like... Major piece. Yeah. Major player to kind of like shake up he the locker room. He should do it soon so it doesn't... Why? His, so his value doesn't tank anymore. But why do you need to trade him? Because why do you need to have him if he's not going to play? Because you could have the... You think Eric? They they thought Eric Rowe was better. I someday. think Eric Rowe was better. Think I think Eric, Jonathan Joe. Think I think Jonathan Jones was better than was or is. I think he was last game. Was last game. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, but here's the the with the way New. Do England, you see Jonathan Jones making plays out there? He was. I did. He did. He did, play, he well. did, he he did play, play well. He and it's but, a good off. It's not. But that's the, not. But here's the problem. He you run into that situation. Okay. So you're saying that Jonathan Jones made those plays. Not every time is he going to knock the, those plays that he. We were like, oh my god, look at him knocking the ball out. Yeah. He didn't turn his head around. Like there was right. stuff yeah, that yeah, I'm yeah. watching. I'm like coachable you, stuff. Though. He, and Malcolm Butler is also terrible at turning his head around. He's awful at it. And he do, he it happens all the time. That pass him. interference call on him was really bad. Yeah, he didn't dude, turn his head he around. Turn your head. Yeah, yeah. And that's I remember we said like yeah. oh, if he John, just, if he granted, looked at the ball, he would have got away with to it. To be honest with you, I think that like, that's a Patriots thing. Like turning they, your head. None of them turn their head. around. They're not good at it. They're not good. Kevin They're probably not coached. By the way, it's it has been apparent to me the past two games now, plus the end of last season, by far and away the best player on this defense is Devin McCourty. Yeah. I think even with a healthy Dante, Dante Hightower, Hightower, it doesn't make a difference. Devin think, McCourty is the best player on this defense. Yeah. He tackles better than probably Every all day. the linebackers. Right, right. And he fucking is great in coverage. Yeah. He's just a stud, dude. He's always where he Devin needs McCourty's to be. Devin McCourty's that guy. He, he really had, is. There was that one play where he wasn't where he needed to be. Yeah. With Tyree Kill. Or, yeah, it was Tyree yeah, Kill. Yeah, Tyree Kill's catch, yeah. And I think that was just a communication issue with a new corner in Stefan Gilmore. Yeah. I dig it. He seemed to play pretty good. Gilmore seemed good. And that's what my, Kevin says to me. Dude, I haven't heard anything out of Gilmore. He said, that's perfect. That's, that's exactly what that's you want. That's how you want. That's how you want your corner don't, to be. Very rarely do they do a montage like, look at this coverage. And yeah. then you see him. I was like, normally it's, look at him getting burned. Also, or you know Gilmore who I like? Got beat. Gilmore got beat. You know who I like who actually, he got burned for a pretty big play, but I wouldn't even say he got burned. It was just a perfect pass is uh, Patrick Chung. That was a nice play. That was a really nice play. With catch. Alvin Kamara yeah. down yeah. the sideline? Yeah. It, Patrick Chung is right on his hip. Like. Right. Right. He's forcing perfect, perfect throw, the perfect best catch. thing you can do as a defensive back is force the quarterback to throw a perfect throw, and that's yep. exactly what he did. Yep. And you're, I mean, you just happen to be playing Drew Brees. Who Patrick Chung, I think I've said that. it before on this podcast. He is so much better this stint with the Patriots than he was his first. Oh, time. he's yeah. a stud. Oh, God. Well, he went to Philadelphia, mm-hmm. and I think he was there with Samuel. And I think they yeah. bo- both yep. looked at each other and were like, "Why are we here? Right. We left something. Right." That for was what? way better right. for our play. Yeah. He got the chance to come back. Yeah. Yeah. Instead of, you know what That's I mean? A good point. And yeah. the the same thing with like I think him understanding what how like it is to play in, for the Eagles and then also having Roe come in and then be like, "Hey, I know what it's like to live in Philadelphia, right. play for Philadelphia, and like right. th- spend a whole off season with him mm-hmm. to talk to him. It probably did help him. Well, yeah. How about Belichick just like unzipping Rose's pants and sucking his dick during the conference? Yeah, I just yeah. loved conference. it. Loved it. He's just like all about Eric Rowe. And they yeah. asked him about Eric Rowe was good. Eric Rowe was like a top. I think he was a first round he was pick, a first or round draft second pick. round pick, yeah, first or second. I yeah. think he was a top. I think he was early, early second. second. I think you're right. He was a second round. But he was a highly touted corner coming out of college. I remember when Eric Rowe got drafted, mm-hmm. and like he just didn't reach his full potential. And but that's what Belichick does with these guys. He right. always keeps tabs on these guys that he liked, mm-hmm. like all the way through their career. That's yeah. true. So, do you think Butler finishes the season as a Patriot? 
Take, yeah, take no, your, I think he does. Take yeah. your feelings out of it. Like I know you want. I was I was on that train. Like I don't I, want I, them. I to do get, want Butler to be on the team. I do. I, I think I think they do for the simple fact of just depth. Yeah, yeah. We'll see. I I, I just I would don't, not be I would not be shocked if tomorrow he was gone. I although I think I'd be shocked tomorrow, but if it's closer to the deadline, yeah, that makes more sense to me. Right. Just You're based right, upon though. how they are. Do they really have the depth to get rid of Malcolm Butler? Uh, no, but they just signed a um, defensive back from the Texans to the practice squad. They, and it's to the practice squad, but I mean... They have four corners and two safeties on their practice squad. Right. And I'm not trying to no, shit on your like, idea, but, you but, that, that, but it was a big to-do that they signed this kid. Right, right. That's how I look at it. You already have that. Right. What the hell's the difference? Right. Well, maybe maybe he's a really good player. You know what I mean. And if you trade, if they, all right, so if I'm going to go crazy and be like, oh no, Butler's Butler's gone. No. If Butler's gone, it's it's almost the same fucking. Like I I think if you go out and get rid of Butler, you might as well go out and like kick the tires on another like a corner that's out there. I'm not saying Revis. Uh, right, right, right. I was going to say. I was going to say. I was going to say it. Well, that's a guy that is but out there. That's though. a guy that's out there. Mm-hmm. Right. Familiar with the defense. Right. Doing nothing. Liked playing for Bill. Liked yeah. playing for the Patriots. And if he's only going to be, like, you know, your fourth corner or whatever. Right, right. If Eric Rowe and Jonathan Jones are playing well enough that they're your one, you know, he's just Gilmore a depth Jones. corner? Right. Yeah, bring him in for Why? kick the tires for two mil. He's probably fat. Moves. He's probably on his couch yeah, right yeah, now, yeah. shoving, you know, Chips Ahoy Chewy in his mouth. He's at, you know where he is? He's at home in Phil- in Pittsburgh. Yeah. Just. Just lifting weights, just getting ready. You think so? I don't ready think for the that's phone call. true at all. <laughs> I, think I, think he's, scr- I think he's getting ready. I for I think that he phone Scrooge call. McDuckin into pools of money <laughs> with Chewy Chips Ahoy on his gut. Yeah, just shirtless. See, I, like, I turned off the live stream, so I don't know what he's doing in his house. <laughs> Apparently, you two have a pretty good idea. Boxers on, I have high no, socks. I have no perception, no, no conception, just, like no idea. To change it a little bit, but yeah. one of my one of the kids I went to high school with, he went to the Giants game over the weekend mm-hmm. uh, or on, for, on Monday night. Yeah, and he was there, and he goes, "I park my spot, get out of my car, turn to my right, and I look, and I go, oh, that's." Charles Woodson and Randy Moss eating hot dogs. No like they're shit. just standing there at That's somebody's awesome. tailgate. That's cool. What? Yeah. That's cool. That's awesome. That's really cool. Hey, uh, Why would anyone want to go to a Giants game? Uh, Giants I mean, after fan? Monday. That you know, dumps- he's a Giants fan. That but. dumpster fire of a team. Yeah. Oh, that, yeah, they're bad. They're in tough shape. I so think the this, Lions are going to be pretty good this year. Do you though. remember? remember the, I, Lions wild uh, I love. Fun. I love the fact that the Giants suck right now. Yeah. I love it. Like, I don't I, Can you hear that? Yeah. That's, <laughs> that's hitting the table. Yeah. I hear you. Uh, <laughs> the wood hitting the wood. Yeah. Wood hitting, yeah. That's some wood on wood right now. I, uh, I got so sick of hearing Giants fans talk about how great their offense is going to be. It mm. looked good. And, and on paper, it looked yeah, good. Oh, on paper, yeah. What's this crazy stat? They haven't scored over 20 points in eight straight games now. And now, the only thing eight I will, straight games dating back to last year, they have yet to score over 20 points. I will throw a little shade. Mm hmm. I did say that there was a possibility Marshall would be a problem. He hasn't been an outward right, problem, right, right. but the team hasn't gelled. Right. I think it, I think you got to give them a couple weeks. I think Beckham, he's just old. I think he's got to get, just Beckham, get problem. Beckham into the fold, and as opposed to being a decoy on Monday where he had like four catches yeah, for forty he was, yards, he wasn't himself. I played yeah. him in fantasy. Yeah, he wasn't. He wasn't real. That wasn't real, yeah. Odell Beckham. So I think you know week week 5 or 6 Fodell we can Beckham. visit him. Uh, there you go. Nice. Uh, there you go. I like it. Fodell um, Beckham. Like his Fohawk. His Fohawk. There's some fuck. This is working on a million different levels. Yep. I like it all. He I would a, say week 5, week 6, let's reevaluate the Giants. It's more, I don't think they're going to be great. No, I just I don't think they're, they're going to be this bad. You know what's not going to get better with when even when Odell Beckham comes back? What's that? The that, run game. From, that offensive line. Oh, the offensive line. Yeah, both, yeah. Eli yeah. Manning is not even like two steps into a three step drop, and there's someone in the backfield. Yeah, that is tough. That is bad. And it's not like the Lions have a fucking good defense. No. You know but what I mean? I think the Lions really are good. good. Offense, though. They have a good offense. Matt yeah. Stafford has been like fucking cash. He's a good quarterback. Every time I write Matt Stafford now, I write the S with the dollar sign. Money. <laughs> money, it. Matt Stafford. Yeah, money, Matt Stafford. Fucking. That guy is that's, paid. A, that's the guy that's fucking rolling around in a fucking yeah, pool. Scrooge you know what, though? I. You know what? 
power to the giant uh, to the lions. That's yeah. the smart move. To but think that he's not a backcourt. Well, here's the other thing: to think that they're still good offensively, right? After Megatron saying, "I'm done," right? They were able to plug some gaps pretty nicely there, like by getting Golden Tate and Marvin uh, Jones is a good pick. Marvin Jones is a good pick. No, I'm just saying, like, yeah. that's a big loss. That's right. the best wide receiver in the NFL. Right. Right. Goodbye. Yeah. And the fact they have no running game, zero. Right. Yeah. Like, yeah. I'm, I'm here you, you're, right, you're, but you're passing. You're, right. That's your game plan. I don't, like, I didn't understand people freaking out. Like, oh, my God, I can't believe Matt Stafford's making this much money. Like, yeah, I know he's not Aaron Rodgers, but what do you want the Giants – what did you want the Lions to do? Like, right. not we're not going to pay him, and then we're going to go into quarterback hell like we see these other well, teams do? that and the next quarterback whose contract is up is yeah, going to be the highest make paid more. quarterback. Yeah. Right? It's, just, it's the same thing when we did the – James Harden contract, yeah. or the Steph Curry contract. I said he'll be the highest paid quarter or p- player in basketball until, until the next contract. Yeah. And then it was like a week later, and James Harden did. It was like, you know what we're going to be looking at? We're going to be saying the same thing about whoever the next quarterback is after Tom Brady. Why did they pay him this much money? Tom Brady, you stick because he's not fucking Tom Brady. Yeah, yeah that that sho- those shoes are impossible to fill. Yeah, but the thing like, is, no, I'm just saying, like, not even his play. It's the fact no, that they're going to get paid kind of so much money. Right, right. We're going to be like. But you could have paid somebody else less, right. and it's like he can't. Yeah, though. but mm-hmm. he's his contracts up. Tom right. Brady's like the golden goose. Of that's what I'm saying. That's, no that's, other quarterback. You can't that. compare it, but the that's shoes, what I'm saying. The and, shoes are going to be hard to fill, not just for the play, of course. You know yeah. I mean? that's going to be tough. But those kind of things that we're used to, like oh, he'll he'll probably just take a pay cut. Nah, it's just like, nah, 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 that's nah, gone yeah, in yeah, four years, gone, buddy. Yeah. Five years. It's yeah. just like if you're the Lions, you're just like, yeah, we're not going to pay you that much. We don't think you're worth it. Uh, Stafford's gonna be like cool, kick rocks. Like yeah. you know, how many okay. cool, you know how many teams need quarterbacks. I'm going yeah. to I'm going to the Browns. 20, They'll pay me. There's twenty. He will 25, too. Like, yeah, yeah twenty five teams in the NFL probably need a quarterback. And the Browns would probably be pretty be pretty good with Matt Stafford at quarterback. Like I don't think they'd win crazy amounts of games. But we talked a little bit about this. Do you think like six and ten is completely impossible for the Browns this year? They haven't looked great. They haven't looked great, but they haven't looked awful. Either. I mean, they played the Steelers tough week they one. They competed with the Steelers. Uh, week two. They lost their quarterback halfway through the game for half the game. Who the did Ravens. they play? Ravens. The Ravens' defense looks in, in your, scary. And you have a back, you have a rookie. Like, obviously, right. I need to see the Pats play the Ravens to really judge it. Mm-hmm. But the Ravens' defense looks scary. Yeah, they hawk. They're like ball hawk. Yeah. Is Moron still ball. playing? Yeah. Yeah. How the fuck is he still in the league? Suggs? Mm-hmm. That piece of shit. Oh, well. I mean, his, he has a contract, and they pay him money. <laughs> um, He's the missing link. Going to <laughs> going to the Texans game coming up, what are you thinking there? I think the Texans' defense is overrated. Okay. Uh, Duly noted. And I think the Pats will be all right. Yeah. I think the Texans' offense is... is um, not exciting. Uh, Deshaun Watson. They're is... not getting him the ball. Hopkins. Oh. Yeah, they haven't gotten him the ball that often. Hopkins, like it's not, not Hopkins enough. Hopkins has been targeted like fucking crazy. Yeah, but like, he's, not he's not getting, getting a lot of catches. He's only got like four, four or five catches the last week. He got targeted like fucking probably ten, ten times, ten times or twelve Shit. times or something like that. I know. Keep keep it coming. I have Hopkins on my team, so so <laughs> keep it coming. Do they'll, you think they'll a, put Gilmore a, on Hopkins and then? Here's a quick extra point for you. Is it the worst idea to play? We're talking about Joe's fantasy field goal extra point. Right. Uh, new segment we're going to do where I just kind of throw an extra point here extra on points. the uh, so regular for the, podcast for the point attempt. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> the kick is unlike, the hold is up. The hold yeah, is in. The hold, the hold. Uh, unlike Gr- Guskowski, you can actually I make it. Make the extra point. I could, I question. could clang it off the upright. I don't know the question yet. What is, is it the worst idea to play a wide receiver versus a defense that you have? So, like, I have the Patriots defense. I also have DeAndre Hopkins. No, I think it would be more. It would be worse to play a wide a quarterback, quarterback versus a defense. Yeah, that's why I tried telling someone. They said, "Isn't that counterproductive?" That's what, I did, that's what I did last week, and I said, "No, because the points per production for a wide receiver is more beneficial, or more is." More. We just talked about. Uh, well, I guess it's a bad thing because you just said the the Patriots defense cost you a point, but right. But if the Patriots but defense gives up one touchdown, if the Patriots defense get, picks off Drew Brees two times and. Uh, Adrian Peterson fumbles his his only rush or whatever, right. right? Patriots defense recovers. Right. That's a fuckload of points for Patriots defense. It right. doesn't matter if Michael Thomas goes, you know, six of 90, six right. for 90 
uh, with no touchdowns. That's right. still in a, in a PPR league. It's that's 15, 15 points. points. Right. And that's what I tried to tell him. I said, DeAndre Hopkins, if he goes six for 60 in a touchdown, that's 18 points. I would only lose one point off the 10 points my defense starts with for that touchdown. Yeah. So that could be it for the game. Go six for 60, one touchdown. Patriots gave up seven points. That's it. You know what I mean? Like at the point per production Who are you playing? is more beneficial. I have Hopkins in the Patriots defense. Oh, oh, oh. So, and that's what he was talking. He says, are you going to play them both? I'm like, hey, he's like, it's not going to kill you. Like, no, isn't that a bad idea? It's I'm like, a, the quarterback, I think. A quarterback, right, because because if he throws for four touchdowns, then you just get a yeah, 28 point, yeah. and that's a lot, right? Okay, I just wanted to make sure also, I wasn't crazy. Also, uh, just listen to my defensive streaming options. And yeah, then. right. I've been on the money with those. I picked you up, have been good. I, I picked, have uh, been good. Uh, I, I've I, won two, two like, weeks the past two because my defense has scored so many points. I know there was a caveat to your the the pick that I made, but I also picked up the Bucks. Defense. I picked up the Bucks defense last week. I picked it up this week. Uh, and they fucking dominated the Bears. Yeah. And they helped me win my matchup last week. And I think I'm just going to hold on to them and pay attention to what's going on with uh, Sammy Sammy Sleeves. Mm-hmm. And, uh, Sammy Biscuits? Yeah, Sammy Biscuits, whatever you want to call him. <laughs> right. Just uh, making sure we're on the same Sammy. <laughs> and if he, doesn't, if he doesn't play, then I'm just going to keep the Bucks defense. If he does, I'll drop him and pick up like the Dolphins versus the Jets or something like that. That's not a bad one. The key to picking up defenses is find out who Indy is playing, is playing Jets, yeah, find who, out who the Jets are playing, right, find right. out who the Browns are playing. Mm-hmm. The, then grab that guy. The pass that rush team. from the Texans yeah. scares me. Yeah. yeah. Because I, it's legit. I, I've watched last week, mm-hmm. and they don't have a great defense, mm-hmm. and watched Solder... Just look, on one play. It was only one play, but Solder he looked, is he the most, bad. It's he just a bad. piece of shit. I fucking hate Nate Solder the longer he's on this team. Yeah, I'm, he's over, getting, I'm over the Solder. He's getting bus. worse. Yeah, he is. You he's getting I mean? older, too. I mean, he was the, what, the first round draft pick eight years ago? No, he's he's. Th- I think he's 31. So seven years ago? He looked really he good. He had a stretch where he was probably one of the top left tackles in the NFL. Right. And then he's it's just like his he's been so deteriorating right. Like, right. as he goes on. Like I don't want another season with Nate Solder as my left Me tackle. Neither. Is he I, up for I hope. Is his contract up soon? I hope. Did I he just so. sign an extension? I just thought he just signed an extension. He recently. may have just signed an extension, I think, in Madden when you do a franchise though. He He's twenty nine. He was drafted in two thousand eleven. So six years ago. Okay, yeah. So I don't know. I, I'm not sure if he's available or not. I'm not sure. But because, yeah, and you know, know who looks fucking amazing is Marcus Cannon. Marcus Cannon, like, best offensive lineman they have. Yeah. <laughs> he just shuts people down. Right. It's he's, it's insane. He's been so good. That's crazy. You know, they need to take Skarnakia and be like, listen, all right, you, you did it. Marcus right. Cannon, you, you fucking right. you renovated that house. Can <laughs> right. we move back over to this Nate one? Soldier, can we get this guy fucking figured out? Jesus. Yeah, it's bad. All right, let's move on. But what do you think for the Texans game? Oh, I think um, – oh, I didn't think I had to answer the question. <laughs> I think that they'll win. Yeah. Um, you think it's a close game? You think it's like a 10, 10 points? I think they're pass- I think you have a good point with the ability of the pass rush for the Texans. I've just seen them scheme J.J. Watt and, and whoever's the best defensive yeah, player yeah. out of a game so much that I wonder – it's one of those games where I always feel that way about the Texans. Like, oh, their defense is really good. Their defense is really good. And then, like, Jacoby Brissett beat him 31 nothing last year. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. He's, and it's just it's always something. Partly because of the defense. It's because of the defense. Yeah, yeah, right. We played really well. But it just feels like the Texans never really run with the Patriots. And even that, though J.J. I think Watt that's played a good in that game, right? I he had a hurt know. back, a but hurt I back. think he's still playing. I think so. I think that I like the Texans as a, as a team. They're down this year with the quarterback situation. Yeah. But. I, like I think their quarterback squad. situation is better than it it's was better last than year. Better than it was last year. That's but true. Deshaun Watson is still a rookie, and what's yeah. fucking go Belichick look at Belichick's Peter. record against rookie quarterbacks is like I just he like, was sick. What was the play that I think it was week one yeah. or week two that I watched? Week one mm-hmm. that he made that play. Yeah, where he just like you. I thought they had him like two yards down yeah, the field. Yeah, yeah. And he just took off for like sixty five yards. Oh, that I was, was like, week two against the Bengals. Yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah. I get it. Like that was the play. I was remember I was yeah. talking to you about it. Like yeah. it's third and fifteen. What the fuck are you doing? Why are you yeah. running? You're it, never going to get it. And yeah. then fifty yards later, there's the end zone. It happens. It happens. Right. Because that happens. They do struggle. Pats do struggle with running quarterbacks. Well, what was mm-hmm. funny to me was like the, the, the instantly went through my head. It was like young quarterback running. It's the Texans. It happened against the Texans. Mm-hmm. Vince Young went through my head. I was like, oh, yeah, I yeah. hope this isn't another Vince Young yeah, yeah. where he's just like his own head can't get out of the way. Like he doesn't yeah. seem like that, but right. 
It happens. Yeah. I, uh, I Young think, with too much success. I really like the Texans as a franchise. I think since they've been expanded in the league, I think that they've done a good job of becoming a competitive team in 10 years, oh, 12 yeah, years, yeah. whatever. No. I just feel like they could never run. They never run with the Patriots as much as I think it's going to be close going into a game. And then I watched a game like, oh, yeah, they won 42-10. They, like, they played who? The Texans played the Bengals last week? Yes. That yeah, was on the Thursday game. night. Yeah. yeah, and they won like 13-9. 13-9? Yeah. If, I mean, I, do you think the Bengals' defense is as good as the Pats' defense? No. So, right. No, they, I just think their pass score. rush worries me. That's all. Yeah, they yeah. could barely score. And, like, the Pats' offense is not – I like, I would be shocked if the Pats' offense put up, like, nine points. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, right, right. I could see it being more like a like – You know what I expect to have a huge, huge game is uh, James White. Yes. Him and what's-his-name that we were, we were sitting there watching it, and I was like, that at the end of the season might be the pickup. Dorsett. Like, when you think back to, like, the yeah. end of the season, who's the guy that, like, helped oh, you Dorsett, bridge yeah. that gap? Mm-hmm. Dorsett's. He had a big game. He had a good game. He had a good game. And uh, it was sort of like how you were saying with Cassius Marsh, like, more than a week yeah. of time. And I think you'll see Dorsett improve, improve, improve. That's what I'm improve, saying. Improve. Right. Yeah, and like, with, like with uh, Amendola still up in the air. Yeah. Back to practice. Who knows what the situation yeah. is there, but he's, he's practicing. He's also got a knee injury it. along with his concussion. Does now. he? Yeah. That's what he showed up on the injury report with a knee and a concussion. What do you think? Is it Bill Belichick that that said he thinks we should get rid of the injury report? Yeah, and I agree with it. But then Rich Keefe says, "What do the fantasy football owners do?" Well, what would that what, does Bill Belichick really think that? Like, because doesn't he? No, use, he, he why said, would he use it? No, he said that because Be- he goes because they asked him like, "Why is Tom Brady mm-hmm. every week that he's been a right. starter?" Right. Listen Every week he's listed as question and questionable or probable, and he's like, "Because everyone plays, ding, hurt, hurt. like right, everyone's, yeah, everyone's you know, mm-hmm. got a sore shoulder mm-hmm. and a sore knee." Yeah, it would always be like shoulder fatigue. Yeah, it would always be like, this like thing. he's a quarterback. Right. Of course, his I shoulder. Think, hurts. I think it's because he don't they have to explain why a player misses practice? Yes, that. And so like I think they always give Tom Brady like you know mm-hmm. you know who would be the, the, yeah. limited. They just do a I don't think limited. It's, Limited reps or whatever. I don't think it's the league that cares. I think it's the fucking players. You, it's uh, the bookies. Uh, well, that but the players' association, mm-hmm. with that caveat that people want to gamble. The players' association should want there to be no injury report because the more that you're reporting someone's got a bum wheel, the more that wheel's going to get targeted. Yeah. So, I think if you're the players' That's association, you're talking about player safety. You would not want people to know that someone's hurting That's why I don't understand why Belichick would want to get rid of it, because doesn't it help him stra- – well, I'm sorry. Doesn't it help him – like It's a two-way street. Strat- people can strategize against him. You know what I mean? Right. Strategy-wise, like to know, like, oh, they don't have you know mm-hmm. Lamar Miller for this week or – I think I think it's – he's from what I heard about it, it was like limited conversation, but that he doesn't want to report the injury itself. It, you could be questionable, probable. You could still do that. You like you I mean? just but literally put it doesn't injured. have to say Rex Burkhead ribs just says I mean? injured it just says Rex Burkhead doubtful well probably. that's what yeah. he Whatever. said he doesn't want his players getting targeted mm-hmm. and yeah you could target their body I'd but be like, alright with that change it's just it, he doesn't understand why you'd have to do that like, you yeah you should have to mark that this guy's not going to play where you right, don't right. put their injury like you have to put questionable probable out mm-hmm. you right. know what I mean right. but yeah. I, I understand that I like that that would be fine you don't actually have to list what the injury is just like that they are injured. Right. And I'm pretty sure, like, if, I, well, like, I hypothetically think. you see fucking Amandola walk off the, limp off the field, like, it's something to do with his leg. Right. Same thing. Like, we saw Grunt go down, grab, you know, he's sitting there with the groin injury. Is he's he going to play? Bike. I think he will. Did I don't he know. practice? You know, know I'm not sure. What was funny sure. is we were watching it. I didn't like, hear that he was out. I watched it, and I'm like, he took a nut shot. Right. That's what I, that's, that's what, what happened. That's what no, that's like. what like happened. It, it looks like the ball. It just got punched. When well, he first land on it, I was like, "Oh, it looks like he got his wind." The, the wind, wind knocked, knocked out of him. him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He got a nut shot. He, but he's there's like, some sort of groin issue. He's though. like everyone else in the NFL, other than maybe like the fucking center. Because I was a center, I wore a cup. Yeah, those guys don't wear cups. They say they run faster without it. I'm like, no. When you get hit in the nuts, right, by like some guy like trying to tackle you and their feet leave the ground. Because yeah. you're so strong, and their foot swings and you know, hits you in the you know balls. What happens when you do when that happens? You go down. You you go to the sideline and ride on a stationary bike, and now you're questionable with a groin injury. And then you go no, you go inside that tent. Yeah, that new tent. That, that new fucking, fucking tent that looks tent. the jerk off tent. I fucking hate yeah. that thing. Yeah. You go in there with like three guys. They all come out sweating worse than you are. Uh, 
What do you guys think about Tony Romo? He was good. I, I, I'm I on the Tony Romo train. I watched the game after because we couldn't hear yeah, it couldn't while hear we were watching it. it. We were. I went back and I, I, watched, I normally watch the game twice yeah. just to try to pick up on stuff I missed. And I went back. He was fucking good. Yeah. He was really I liked good. him. Yeah. I'm surprised. I thought I'd be more annoyed with him than I liked him. And, and what I hated was like the stupid fucking setups. Like Jim Nance is so much better than this where like – Oh, they left someone's name off the Eastern Illinois alumni list. Is, are they missing someone? And he's like, oh, yeah, well, you know, it's me, Jim, yeah. whatever. I'm just like, oh, my fucking stop it. Like, what are we doing? If we get it. Like, he played in Eastern Illinois. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And every joke was like, oh, you know, the, this guy's th- he just threw an interception. Like, mm, that's how I earned him. Like, the God. volume was on a little because yeah. I literally went, I was sitting there, I was like, oh, no, that's the fucking rocket scientist. And then literally two right. seconds later, he says it. And I'm like, like Jesus, God please stop. Please yeah. stop. Yeah. Every game. I liked Romo. Uh, I especially when Gronk went hurt, got hurt. Mm-hmm. He started talking about back injuries. Yeah, yeah. he's like, oh, I hope it's not a back because you know I have a little experience. Like, mm-hmm. I was like, it's it's actually like I enjoy hearing someone who's so recently played that right. they can. And he's been dinged up most of his career, right. even when he was good. Right, he was, he was always nursing an injury. I don't know if I'm really into the whole like him calling plays before they happen thing. Yeah, he tipped a lot of plays off, right. but. Uh, I do like him as a like I'm on it's yeah, it's, a good job. it's better than Collinsworth. Well, it's like you said, like he's so recently removed mm-hmm. that he can literally go, oh my god, they're gonna do this. Right, like yeah. it's yeah. it's cool he's to see Sims, to see yeah. his mindset. Well, because mm-hmm. Sims is what twenty years removed Sims from the field, from the actual field, field of play. He, he's also just like not all there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he's well, like, like, he was a few crayons short of a full set. Yeah. You know what I mean? All right, let's uh, let's move on here. To me, all you gotta do is make a decision. That's it. Take a look inside my crystal ball. So, Aaron is two and zero. I don't know if I like the fact that he keeps the list. Right? <laughs> I can't. Yeah, I feel I like, can't, like I feel like I didn't make some of those choices. <laughs> I just, yeah, I gotta see. I gotta see. That doesn't look like the original list. <laughs> no, uh, Aaron had a good. I don't week. rip them out. I leave them in the notepad. Would you go twelve and four? Is that what we said? No, last week? No, this week. This week? This week. No. Oh, 14 and 2. 14 and 2, that's 14 right. And two. 14 and 2. 14 and 2. I went 10 and uh I went 9 and 7 and Joe went uh 10 and 6. So, yep. None of that matters. None of it matters. It. None of it matters. New I mean, week. we'll keep it. We'll keep it just for just yeah, no, for stat week, sake. Nope, not keeping it. Throwing mine <laughs> right in the, the mental yeah, garbage. My 9 and 7 is in the is in the Never brain happened. trash. Yeah. Uh but Who Aaron is off seven, to two. Not me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, so Aaron's 2 and 0. Oh. Um, so let's go through and this I, week's. And I almost got the Patriots score. I get kinda, kinda, kinda. I was uh, you guess twenty-five, kinda close, which kinda is close. almost it's near impossible. Kinda close though. Yeah, but yeah. Thirty-five, you were twenty-five. Yeah. It was thirty-six, twenty. You what did you guess? I was forty-two. One thousand to nine hundred. That was what that, I wrote that was down. My initial guess. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I guess and forty-two, twenty-seven. Forty-two, twenty-seven. Yeah, and I had forty-two. I was twenty-one. Closest. Was my first one. Yeah, closest you were. True. All right. So I'm glad that doesn't get you extra points, though. I know it doesn't. Do you have the next week's written down? Oh, I do. Of course you do. Mr. Notes. All right. Let's do this. All right. Let's rapid fire. All right. So the Thursday night game, the greatest game of the whole season. (sighs) Are they going to get rid of Thursday night football? They have to. fucking awful. They have to. I just want to know when they were making the schedule, just based off last year's teams. Mm Mm-hmm. Why would they ever Why think this that matter? this would be the game they put on Thursday right. night? Rams at the 49ers. At the 49ers? Yep. I'm still going Rams. I'm going to go Rams. I'm going Rams. Okay. Hey, I take back what I said about the Niners looking pretty good. <laughs> that's, <laughs> hey, go- that's gone. I uh, just throw the ball to Pierre Garçon. Yeah, yeah. Do that. Just do that. They do that don't. All the time. I have them on my fantasy team. They don't. Well, I mean, last week they played like... Uh, Six minutes of offense. Yeah. I don't remember. What was the game? Uh, I can't remember. I can't remember. Whatever. Last week the, uh, the Niners beat. did not. Oh, they played. They played Seattle. Oh right. So right, I right. was just like, I'm not playing Pierre Garcon. That's yeah. for damn sure. Okay. What do we got next? Texans at the Patriots. 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 We can do score. Score tiebreaker here. Uh, t- uh Pats win t- twenty eight thirteen. We go. Uh, Thirty one. What do you have? 28? 13. 13. Let me go uh, 31, 13. I really wanted. I'm going to go. You, you took mine. 
Are you going to be like that dumb lady in fucking prices, right? One. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I get <laughs> one cent. 36. Uh, this fucking guy with his scores. His numbers. 17. There we go. All right. Is that very awful? 36 is still really random. It's uh, that that took a Gostowski missed extra point. So that's a really random. I'm golden. It's not, it's not uncommon golden. at this point. But yeah, I'm, I'm golden. So okay. 36, 17. All right. So what do you got next? <laughs> <laughs> Ravens at the Jags. I'm going Ravens. Ravens. I think Blake Bortles might throw four interceptions. I'm going to go Jags just to try to get a point here. Okay. Aggressive. And I think the Jags defense is actually really good. I do. I just I have, think the I've, Jags offense is fucking not yeah, yeah. really good. And I think the Ravens defense is fucking It's really good. No, really, you're, really you're good. Right about that. Broncos at the Bills. Broncos. I'm buying all in fucking Trevor Simeon MVP. Hero. Two yeah. weeks in a row. Draft, best yeah. ball league. Yeah. He's been my best quarterback. I think he was he, my 15th round fucking shit I need a quarterback because I got two on a bye, and, and think, he's been my uh, hero. Trevor, I think I, he's one of my, like, hey, you can stream him in your, if you're in a pinch, <laughs> kind of. Uh, I think I, he was, like, my honorable, like, bleh, quarterback yeah. of the week. Like, right. hey, Trevor Simeon's not been that bad. Why not? Saints at the Panthers. Saints bounce back. Saints bounce back. Although, did you see the fucking numbers on Sean Payton? No. He's 1-10 since 2014 in September. Really? He started off 0-3, 0-2, 0-4, 0 and 0-3, and now they're 0-2. No, I'm sorry. One of those numbers is out, but they're 0-2 right now. So he's just he's a good slow starter. Slow fucking starter. I'm going Panthers because they're at home. They've, it's not uh, that they've never... Ah, Breeze on the Road. Mm, Panthers. Thank you. Panthers, yeah. Can I change my pick? Yeah. Is it not locked in? Yeah, not locked in. I wrote it down, but I can cross Wait, you it guys out. both with Panthers? Yes. Yeah. I'll try and take a point. I, I, I also want the Saints. <laughs> I'm going to take <laughs> both. <laughs> I'm going to get a mulligan on that one. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Go ahead. I want them God both. God damn you Write both. both down. No, I'm not writing them both down. <laughs> Dave has... Write them both down. Whichever one wins. Wake, wake, no, I'm going to say uh, the winner. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Steelers at the Bears. I'm going Steelers. Steelers easy. Steelers, Steelers by a hundred. Uh, if you listen to Joe's fantasy field goal, Steelers are one of my like six defenses I gave you as a streaming option. Falcons at the Lions. Oh, I just watched the Falcons decimate Green Bay. Yep. So I'm going to go uh, Falcons. I'm going to go Lions. I'm going Lions. The Falcons decimated Green Bay in Green Bay. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Uh, I don't know if it was in Green Bay or not. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I don't remember. I, I'd have to go back to the... I think the Lions are... Actually, I think it might have been in Atlanta. It wasn't in Atlanta. That's why I picked them. Yeah, I still am going to do it, though. I dig it. I still, right. The Lions are pretty much like a close facsimile to Green Bay. Yeah. Browns at the Colts. Browns. I'm going Browns. Fuck. I think I'm finally going to get a Browns one right I here. was going to go Browns, too, but... Now I might try and steal a point. Jacoby Brissett balls the fuck out. Uh, <laughs> nuts. Indy in seven. Ooh. In a best of seven series, they got to play each other. <laughs> I was You're trying to do that. I was trying to. You ever seen the uh, meme? It's like LeBron with a cigarette in his thing. Yeah, it's yeah. like, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's it. Yeah. KD, like yeah, right, JD, right. whatever, yeah. Cavs in seven. Right, Cavs in seven. Yeah. yeah. I got you. So you're going Colts? Yeah, I'll just, go Colts. I, I'll just try and get You're going Colts in right. seven. So box at the Vikings. Vikings. Oh, I'm, I'm going Bucks. Right. I don't going, think Bradford will play. I was gonna say I'm going Bucks. I'm playing to win. I'm not playing what you guys play. Get a steal. Yeah, I'm gonna go Bucks. I was gonna say because go if, with if, my... if I'm wrong, you're all wrong. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm not losing any ground. Dolphins at the Jets. Dolphins. That's the easiest pick I'll ever make in my life. That's yeah. the Dolphins. That's, uh, and I'm starting Jay Cutler in like every league I have him. So hopefully one Jets for Dave Dawson, please. I'm just kidding. <laughs> that was the- I get halfway through writing Dolphins. <laughs> and he's like, I was just waiting for him to get to like the PHI. He and was like, throw up. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Giants at the Eagles. I'm going Eagles. I am too. I, I, I'm not I, buying into the Giants. I would say the Eagles. Excuse me. Jesus. Um, I would say the Eagles. John said to me on the phone, our season's on the line. And I was like, huh. He said, no, I'm serious. Like, we can't go 0 3. 0 2 in the division already it can't happen. And I was like, yeah, big game for the Giants. Giants win this game. 
You're not changing my mind, Dave. That was a, that was a solid attempt, though. <laughs> so, <laughs> Here's the one that I was flip flopping on. All right, Seahawks at the Titans. Titans See, win. Uh, they're Seahawks at the Titans. Mm-hmm. The Seahawks put up fucking twelve points against San Francisco, which has literally the worst defense in the NFL. Probably. No, so I don't I was, think that's true. They're in the bottom five. Okay, I'm going <laughs> Seahawks. Pick that. If you told me 27th, I wouldn't have fought you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go Seahawks. Um, I think Carson's the real deal. I think no one in Seattle's offense is, is good it's at the all. the real deal. If you can't score points against San Francisco, you have no hope. I Just think pick six. Who did back. they trade away that was really good? Chris Carson had what? Like 96 yards rushing? I think that hurt their offense. Yeah. As much as him he not being He was like their like, fifth receiver. But he, he every once in a while would have like a random big play. Mm. Well, now he can take that random big play to the Jets. Yep. And he's actually had good. random big plays. Right. Yep. Um, Sneaky good. Actually, Chris Carson had, what, like 96 yards rushing last yeah. game? Yeah. Yeah, against literally the worst rush defense in the right. NFL last year. So Joe's favorite quarterback's coming up in this next one. Give him a minute. Bengals at the Packers. Oh, oh Andy Packers. Dalton. That's yeah, Packers. Packers. It's got to be. I, do exp- I don't think I, the Bengals am, go 0-3. I am hoping that Andy Dalton has a bounce back game. Just not this week? No, even versus the Packers. I just don't think they're going to win, but I'm hoping he at least throws a touchdown. Can you imagine if the Bengals go 0 3? Can you imagine if they don't score a touchdown again? Like, you have to fire Marvin Lewis. How does he still have a head coaching job? You know, he's been the head coach of the Bengals. That can't be a true stat. I heard somewhere that he's been the head coach of the Bengals for 15 years. That's probably true. It's close to it. It's probably at least 10. 2002, that makes sense. Yeah, Yeah, he's been there for a long time. I don't know if that's the exact year, but that. You I wouldn't have be surprised to fire him. him. That's crazy. Yeah. Chiefs at the Chargers. Chiefs. Ride the hot hand. Yeah, Chiefs. Alex yeah. Smith's the GOAT. <laughs> Fuck Tom Brady. Jesus Christ. I hate this. Number one quarterback in fantasy football, Alex Smith. I'm going Chiefs. Uh, Raiders, at the, <laughs> Raiders at the Redskins. Raiders. Raiders. I'm going Raiders. The Raiders. Although I do believe that. Kirk Cousins starts to figure it out a little bit. I think that too. Uh, Raiders are just better. The Raiders, yeah. By the way, Raiders' defense is trash, though. It is trash. It's trash. Real trash. It and is, I tried to trash. put up a fight for them, I think, on this show. And I was just like, I'm nah, they're, they're trash. Not good. The Monday night game. The Cowboys at the Cardinals. I'm going Cowboys. Cowboys are not going to repeat a performance like they, they had. They can't. Uh, Cowboys so, win. Cowboys, yeah. I don't think we disagreed a whole lot. This, Not a uh, whole lot. There's a couple. There's a couple points to be taken. Because taking this seriously now, now that I've won two weeks in a row, you're gonna wind up ten fourteen. I'm just kidding. Now that's you're off to a good start. There's you disagreed one, two. This is great radio, right here. <laughs> like literally, like two games, Dave. You disagreed with me. Yeah. <laughs> so I got some chances. I got some chances. <laughs> so you're saying there's a chance. I'm saying there's a chance. <laughs> All right. So to go back to the rap session a little bit, what do you guys think of the Boston Red Sox winning games? It takes them four hours. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, Isn't 20, 24 hours. It's supposed long. to be trying to shorten games. Shorten games on the Red Sox are better the yeah. longer it goes. Red I Sox. feel like that they're bound for a really good postseason because they're better outside of the regular part of the game. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like So this is like the extra season, sort of like extra innings. I think they may not lose the game. They're going to they're gonna sweep the I sweep also the it's such bad logic. No, it's there, though. Uh, it's not good, here's, here's but, the, it's, but it Dave is Dave is logic. literally twisting him, his body in knots trying to <laughs> Here, trying to. It. Here's, the, the playoffs. here's the logic I'm trying to play with. Yeah. I don't want to go to an extra inning game on Tuesday. I don't want you to either, too, because you're well, going to come back. Well, sales pitching. <laughs> so. like, come back I know sales morning. pitching. That's what I want. I'm so stoked to see that. That's really cool. But I also don't want to see it go fucking 11, 12, 17. Just go see Chris Sale shut someone out for eight innings, get 13 Ks, and then Kimball gets the save, and then fucking. That would be amazing. Right, guys, I can night. live with that. And right. just Two hour see, and 15 minute game. And right. see, like, <laughs> and see one of the young outfielders hit a home run. Right. Like, that's all I want to see. Buck 40, buck 45, get out of there. No problem. Yeah. <laughs> hour and a half game. Uh, just boom, half, boom, 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 boom. There you go. Sale just cruises. I just got a hot dog. Is the seventh inning <laughs> stretch? Holy the hell? shit. I'm going to. That's. 
It's going to go Facebook Live. Oh, I'm sure you are, yes. Instagram. <laughs> Instagram. <laughs> Instagram time. Live on the BS Nerds. Yeah, you better bring a fucking racism banner. Sweet <laughs> Caroline. <laughs> bum, bum, bum. Oh, I, hate, I hate that. I hate it's it. So amazing. What if the it's what if the banner said racism is as American as Sweet Caroline? That makes sense. That, that makes would, sense. To would me. Makes a lot that of sense get. today. Yeah, because Sweet Caroline not looked at in a positive light by Dave Dawson. True. true. Ba, ba, ba. You know what? Ron? <laughs> so good. So good. So good. I literally have like a. It's like a. I can't ignore it when I hear Sweet Caroline. I have to go ba ba ba. Of course. Like no, like I can't. If I could be in the middle of a very important conversation, <laughs> just turn like for bah, maybe like a job bah. interview, and someone behind me drives by and Sweet Caroline's playing. If it's that part, I'll be like, hold on one second. Ba ba ba. All right, what were we talking about? Stuff. <laughs> no, it's, I'm when I go on my vacation, I'm renting a Hyundai just so I can play that as we're driving around. What's yeah. the uh, movie where the guy shows up with the boombox outside the girl's door? Oh, God. yeah. And he's um, it's John, John, it Cusack. John Cusack. Yeah. Cusack yeah. Um, it's not, I forgot the name of uh, it. That's a, that's a fucking good one. Uh, I'm going to do that reference. to Dave. I'm going to go to Dave's house. <laughs> just go to you get a giant boombox and just play Sweet Caroline outside of his window. <laughs> <laughs> his girlfriend's going to think you're playing it for her. She'll mm-hmm. stay, she can stay out with me. <laughs> I'll make her hold the boombox. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh,. So yeah, the Red Sox are winning a lot of games late. Yeah, they're playing playing well. I mean, uh, and they're no clear Indians, but no, right, right. But still, I mean, that the the amount of extra innings games they've gone into, I would just say like it's. Oh, I'm curious how many innings extra they've played this year. You know what would stop them from going into extra innings? What if they could hit Had some fucking power. home Had some runs? Power early? Yeah. I was gonna say that's a crazy stat you brought up. Is like they're the worst in the league. They're the hitting worst home in, the, runs. in a year that they're going to crush. Think about that. The Padres are a better home run hitting team than the Boston Red than Sox. Than the Boston Red Sox. Can you this, name a Padres this, player? This year is going to break the all time record. Padre no, I need to know a current Padres player. Can you name me one? <laughs> no. no. Um, this year is going to break the record that was set in 2000, right? When a lot of a lot of juice was flying around of the most home runs hit by Major League Baseball. So every team, every player, whatever. The most so you're saying the juice runs. is back? I think the balls are juiced. Why? Well, and OJ is back. So the and juice OJ's, is the back. The juice is officially back out. Um, the Red Sox are dead last in the most historical, powerful OJ, season in history. OJ is out of jail. Yeah, that's what he just said. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's out. He is out of jail. Well, he's, he's not out yet, is he? Yeah. Yeah, I think oh, he's, out, he's out of prison. He's out of November, I thought. Oh, um, he might be right. He's He was awarded. He was awarded, yeah, that, when that was the, the story. But yeah. I thought it was November. But like, like, whatever. Who Either cares? Way. Yeah. It's OJ. The Red Sox are historically bad in, a, in such a powerful season, and I, that blows my mind. At, well, the Red Sox are historically bad at hitting home runs. Right. They aren't historically bad, though. Right. No. Yeah. I just mean in yeah in as far as power. It's like the they're, they're like the Chicago White Sox that one year. They won small playing ball. small ball. Small ball all the way for the Lana win. Juan Uribe. Yeah. Yeah. Nice reference. Yeah. Was was he on that team? Right. <laughs> I, I think so. I think he was. And it might be. Paul Canerco. <laughs> Here we go. I like this. I like that a lot. Ozzy Guillen. There you go. That's a good reference. And then also the other thing I want to touch on on the rap session. Uh, Kyrie Irving stuffed Max Kellerman into a locker. He believes in the flat earth. He believes in the flat earth, and he also believes that he has to. So what What you really need to take out of that story is Max Kellerman got stuffed in a locker by a guy who thinks the earth is flat. Right. Which tells you that Max Kellerman is a fucking loser. It's true. You should That's never true. be stuffed in a locker by a person who thinks <laughs> the earth is flat. flat. What he should have done is he should have looked Kyrie Irving in the eye yeah. after he stuffed him in the locker and said, you think the earth is flat. Right. And yeah. one of my favorite tweets I've read probably this year, Kyrie Irving, my name's Dan Shaughnessy from the Boston Globe. Globe. <laughs> <laughs> globe. Yeah, just, yeah, globe. Globe. Um, Bang. So, yeah, oh, God. We're not doing that. <laughs> we're not doing that. Um, so, uh, but Kyrie Irving put Max Kellerman in a fucking locker. And body just told bag. him basically, yeah, body bag, yeah. Uh, dude, you care too much about LeBron James? I'm a grown man. I don't have to check with anybody. You care too much about it, let it go. 
And it was just, I mean, that's a very paraphrased summary of how the exchange went. But now, to be honest, though, I would be so annoyed if everyone constantly asked me about about LeBron, LeBron James right. all the time. And a lot of people on EDI were like, see, Kyrie kind of makes me nervous because he seems like he's not really, he didn't answer a lot of questions. Like, he was very this weird, long, evasive sort of thing. But they're like, I'm worried about him. I'm worried about him dealing with this media. And yada, yada. I'm like, I'm not. He told, he told Stephen A. Smith, no, I didn't. Do you think that you should have? Why would I? You know what I mean? Like, and it was very simple. I get it. You know what I mean? Like, it was just, he had his ducks what, in a row. Just, what do you want him to say? Yeah, I probably should have go, talked to him. I would have just said, go ask LeBron. Right. I'm not LeBron James. Right. I can't tell I, you I'm how not, he feels and You know about what? Brown. I'm not going to talk about LeBron James. Right. Yeah. I play for the Boston, Boston Celtics. Celtics. Right. I don't play for the Cavaliers anymore. I play for the Boston Celtics, and I'm not LeBron James. So right. if you want anything to know about LeBron James, go talk to him. Go there. Or go talk to a Cavalier. Right. Yeah. So that's all I got for rap session. I think I'm I'm excited for basketball season. I think Kyrie's going to be I'm actually m- more excited for basketball season than I've ever been. Yeah. This I, is a I, wild offseason. I mean, I'm excited for basketball, but I'll never be as excited as 07. Right. Like yeah, that yeah, yeah, that yeah. was just like. Were you excited for 07 at the start of 07, though? Or were you just like, like partway through? No, like the moment they made those trades, they I was sitting KJ there going, "Holy shit! This yeah. season is a I can't miss a game season." Yeah, yeah, that was. I remember, I remember they they got Ray, and I was at Washington Park with a buddy of mine, and then he got a phone call from someone says, "Yo, do you see what the Celtics are doing?" And I didn't even hit, like I didn't know. And he calls and he says, "Yo, you guys just got KG." He's like, "Did they give up Paul?" And he says, no, because he figured that if yeah, you were going to do that, yeah. Paul. Give up the best player. And he says, whatever. no, no, it's KG. They gave up Al Jefferson and a bunch of guys or whatever. And then he says, holy cow. He says, you got Ray, Paul, and KG. And I was like, wow, that's intense. Mm-hmm. Like, that's crazy. And then I felt that's, I felt the same way. Like, and then nuts. when I watched the press conference, with yeah. how hard Paul was smiling, I was yeah. like, he's going to fucking go. They're all in. They're going to go balling awesome. this year. That yeah, awesome. I'm, I'm just really interested to see see this team. I'm really excited to see the NBA this year well, because I just think there was so much movement. Paul George on the Thunder, Jimmy Butler on the Wolves, uh, the rookies. I'm really interested by this draft class a lot, like the Lonzo Ball, the uh, the Fultz, the yeah. you know Jalen Brown. Or I just want to. I'm Tatum. like I'm really excited to see the Celtics. Yeah, like, oh, yeah I want to see Celtics. this that's, team. That's what I mean. Team. Like this is the right. first time since '07 that I'm like. Fuck it. Like, I need right. to go see a game Like, in my person. guess is that yeah. this team looks a lot like it did with Isaiah Thomas. Yeah, I don't think you gain a lot there. I think, I think, I think Gordon, Hayward, pieces, Gordon Hayward is more of like a, oh, shit, now I see right, right. because of him. More than, second more than swapping Irving and, right. and Isaiah Thomas. But I think also it's the first time in a long time you've seen the Celtics have all-stars mm-hmm. in their prime. Yeah, everyone is. Like, you caught Paul, Ray, and Garnett the on the that. back yeah, nine. Yeah, right. This team right before really the downturn. Has a ton of promise. Could you imagine if they got Durant, too, though? Mm. Yeah. Well, well, they, they wouldn't have gotten Hayward. But they wouldn't have gotten... Yeah, they were, are you... Are we talking about the, when they... The 07, when they no, got no, the, no, the draft? I'm or? talking about, I'm <laughs> talking about when he was a free agent. Yeah. And oh, yeah. They, yeah. Would, they wouldn't have Yeah, no, Hayward. you wouldn't have gotten... They wouldn't have got Hayward, but they could have still made the Kyrie trade. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. And I would, I and mean, Kyrie and Durant would be dope. Yeah, yeah. yeah right. Yeah, I yeah. would take that over Kyrie and Hayward. Yeah, that's maybe that will make yeah. it easier for him to come. Um, but if if we're gonna talk about Kevin Durant, would you mind hitting the um, Bok talk button for you me? You want a Bok talk? What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. That's a Bok. Did you see Kevin Durant uh, forget to switch his Twitter name when he yeah. talked yeah. about himself, yeah. and then showed the entire world that he has? Fake accounts? Fake accounts, yeah. Yeah. Yep, so he can talk to his fans. How soft are you? Right. It it happens a lot. It's just soft. It is soft. It is. How does he have time to have multiple Twitter accounts to tweet about shit like that? Did you see see the picture, you know, the meme of Paul Pierce where he had two phones? He was at, like, the All-Star game. Yeah, yeah. And he's filming, and, like, he's FaceTiming with somebody and filming the dunk contest or whatever. They were, like, Kevin Durant's on social media, like, and they put Katie's face on. He's, like... You know, with different accounts. Or it was like, pretty what? funny. But, uh, yeah, but it, that's weird. It was cool. It wasn't cool, but I like that you actually got to hear what Katie thought about the Oklahoma City at the time. Like, Yeah, yeah. 
he didn't like playing for the coach. Right. And it like, wasn't a problem with Russ. It was that take Russ away from that team. That team's garbage. Yeah, like, that team sucks. You know, it's like, and, and it wasn't just him. It was every, everything else that wasn't Some there. Some unknown player. Well, I didn't know him commented like yo i love the they're the greatest organization in the league and i was like you've played for one organization in the league stop yeah yeah i just thought that was like yeah that was weird oh it's just dumb how soft are you just why do you have to respond i i feel like that has to be lebron as well you know what though? like they have to all have a lot of of people you know what though i just it almost made like obviously i would take kevin durant in in boston but Mm -hmm. part of part of that makes me worried that he wouldn't handle it well. He wouldn't be able to handle it here. What I think that is is a way for him to cuss people out without him doing it. Probably. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but now well, he didn't. Knows but that. if you're taking the only tweet we've ever seen right. as an example, he's not exactly cussing the guy out. He's bringing no. up valid points. But what if what if that guy was like, oh, man, fuck KD. He's, right. No, no, I'm saying like what if, what, if, what if his alter ego or whatever, right, his Twitter account, do we know what else that guy said? No, because we need to find what that Twitter account right, is. Right, right. Because then if you go back and he's sort of like, yo, KD's the best, like, fuck you, or you're trash. Like, what if he was using that to go back and forth with people without his name doing it, you know what I mean? Like, so he could vent to people or vent or interact with or shit, you know, shit talk with people as opposed to Kevin Durant shit talk with people. And it was a, it was a way to let it out for him. Then I don't hate it because he couldn't do that on his personal account. I think you he know? could. And you could. But it would come with a fucking well. Technically, tornado. Just do it. Yeah, Hold tornado. on, like, I yeah. think that would be less soft than making a fake account. Definitely less. But soft. here's the thing: yeah. <laughs> despite it being a fake account, he <laughs> did it. So he technically did put it out there. Right. It's just he got he got caught, he got caught he, having a like, fake account. It was like That's the time Skip of. Bayless uh, commented in the third person on on his Facebook thing, like, "Hey, yeah. Skip, you're the greatest," and it showed that you know Skip Bayless has multiple accounts where he just tells himself how awesome he is. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I mean, and the thing is, it's probably not Skip Bayless. It's probably like someone who manages Skip yeah, Bayless's has, accounts, right. and yeah. they forgot to fucking do it. Mm-hmm. But yeah. still, it's funny. But I mean, like, imagine if some guy was like, uh, "Yo, KD's trash." He just, you know, LeBron just dunked on. I think him. it he would was be like, "Yo, fuck LeBron," or whatever. Like, if well, he wanted how, to just say it, he, he couldn't do. He, he can, should. He, he should, should. But he, you can't. It's like why not? But people because respect it's a, it's it more. A fucking PR nightmare. People, well, no, why? I don't know if it is. Team, teams wouldn't want that. Teams would not want to play. People that respect it more. Think about the Wendy's yeah, Twitter I, account. Was, <laughs> Wendy's, yeah, that's different. Think about the, the Wendy's Twitter athlete. account shits on people all the time. Right. And no, Wendy's is savage and, as fuck, and people love it. <laughs> right. Yeah. No, it's true. The Wendy's. If Katie Twitter was account, just savage as fuck on Twitter, if he was like Jr. Smith and just going like fucking right. shitting on people, just going nuts. Jr. Smith shits on people all the time and hits on like fifteen year old girls. Who do we hate right now the most? Who's been the fucking reigning Boktog guy of the year? Lonzo, uh, LeVar Ball. LeVar, LeVar Ball. Ball. Why? Because he talks shit all the time, and it's like, shut the fuck up and yeah, stop talking shit. Yeah, but that's cocky shit. shit. That's it's like, cocky shit. But, but, and it's not backed up. I'm talking about true. Katie, okay, who's yeah. a champion right. now, right. who is like a reigning MVP, finals yeah, MV- right. MVP. Right. If some dude was just in his mention, he was just like, shut the fuck up. You suck. What the fuck have you ever done? Right. KD would be fucking, if he was just savage. There's two guys in the NBA. There's guys like Draymond Green, J.R. Smith. To do that, yeah, and there's guys like the Tim really, Duncan. really good basketball players. You know what I Tim mean? Duncan. Right, Tim Duncan, even LeBron James doesn't cuss somebody out on. No. The, you know what I mean? The really, really good basketball no. players. LeBron are PR. PR what about savvy. Steph Curry though? Here's the thing: he Rick doesn't tweet think, like that. But Steph Curry is like LeBron. Doesn't, he's savage. <laughs> he's savage. That's true. In like interviews and, and, and the like, way he plays, just and like that. things that end up coming out. Right. Even though, like, even though they're done kind of in private, mm-hmm. it's yeah. like he does them in private, but he knows it's going to get out. Like right. when he was making fun of LeBron at the wedding. Yeah. Yeah. Like, oh, doing the dances. Yeah. And yeah like yeah, he yeah. knows that's going to get out. In right. the interview. They did before uh, they went back to Cleveland, yeah. before the finals that they lost, yeah. Golden State. The Golden State won the finals, and they lost, and they won. Yeah. Uh, before the one that they lost, yeah. uh, they were doing an interview. Steph Curry was doing an interview. He's like, I hope their locker room still smells like champagne. Oh, wow. And he said it in the interview. Yeah, like, yeah. that's savage. It is savage, yeah, yeah. Just, like, yeah. to rub it in like that. Like, right. I hope their locker room still smells like champagne. <laughs> no, I think Steph Curry's the man. He's my favorite player in the NBA that's not a Celtic player. And the thing is, I, I Steph, Curry. The, Steph Curry grew on me because at the first I was like, he's a little dweeb who shoots threes. And mm-hmm. then like 
you actually watch him play. You know, you know and who, he's, you know who he reminds and he's me of? Like, you know who he reminds me of? Reggie Miller. Yeah. Yeah, he's got. He's a kind of a goofy, alien-looking yeah. kind of guy. He's yeah. kind of like. I but like he, when, but, he, but when he does savage. talk. He is Reggie was savage. Was Reggie, I but like Reggie, when, you caught it more. Right. Yeah, I like yeah. when he make when he sh- makes the three in people's faces all the time, and he'll do like that. Yeah. Walk down. Yeah, the, the thing. big walk. Yeah. yeah. Do you know why he does that? The so you can steps? look at the shoe. You can see the yeah. You can yeah. see the sentence on the shoes. Yeah. It's pretty cool. I like I like Steph Curry a lot. I do too. Like I like when he's I like me. when he's on the bench and he's just like laying across four seats and he's throwing his hands up with the threes like yeah. when someone else makes one he's like ah and he's, he lets like, a signal into the whole team like he's he's I think he's the most uh, I, I what's like the word him. I'm looking for like dynamic player in the NBA I guess like I guess I don't dynamic is not really the word but like most captivating player yeah. like he like he piques my interest so much I think he's super exciting. And he's fun. Like he looks like he has fun playing. I like and when players are like braggadocious like that. Yeah, like, yeah, he, yeah. Like, he, he backs has it up. turned Outspoken. around a franchise. Right. Mark Jackson does not get enough credit for that. He I'm not, I'm not saying. Up. No, I know. That's, that's I'm just saying. Like sidebar. when you look at him, right. You're right. like, like you said, when you first saw him, you're like, he's just, just yeah, fucking, yeah. Yeah. yeah, right. But right. when you think about it, this guy, slow burn. Mm. Wasn't the LeBron coming in to fucking right. take over the league? He's drafted with a broken ankle. You know well, when I mean? you think about it, the, the first time you saw like Curry play, yeah, he he didn't. You, you, he was like throwing up threes, and you're like, oh, it's he's like fucking Jimmer Fredette. You I know literally I mean? said like, to my buddy, he doesn't have an all around game. Right, he's much older than Jimmer Fredette. Oh yeah, I know. Oh, okay, but yeah, I, right, I, I wasn't yeah, trying to yeah. c- yeah. compare them, but that's all I thought about Jimmy right. Fredette. I was like, right. he's just a three point shooter. And I, I mean, obviously Jimmy Fredette sucks. But right. I remember my buddy asked me, like, "Is this kid going to be good?" And I was like, "He's going to be hurt before he's great because it's just he played on toothpicks. His ankles were so bad. Like he would snap an ankle, roll an ankle and all the time. He shits on people. And now he just he he gets past the ankle injuries because he. If you go back and look, his first few years back when they were navy blue and orange, yeah. <laughs> those Golden State Warriors. It was 50 missed games, 30 missed games. 40. I mean, he was missing time because his ankles were so bad. He shits on people. And he fucking – he puts Chris Paul in the body bag every time they play. Yeah. And he makes that guy – Chris Paul's going to be a first battle Hall of Famer, and he fucking He does that, him. like, behind the back thing. Yeah. And it's just like yeah, people just like, are like – He does the double behind the back. You literally just, see their ankles disintegrate, and they just so fall on their right. – You know what? That's what I'm excited about Kyrie, too. Kyrie's Kyrie – Shits on people. He does. He's got the best handles in the game. Steph Curry is a very close second, but Kyrie is the best. Kyrie in the game. just shits on people. Yeah, he's bad. He's an ankle breaker. That was the one thing I didn't like about Isaiah Thomas when he dribbles because he's so short. You know, you're always supposed to dribble the ball low. Yeah. Like just by him being short, right? It looked like Isaiah Thomas dribbled from his Too shoulder, high, right, just yeah. like yeah, all he, the time. He, he dribbled forward. That was his thing. He wasn't like a crossover guy. He was able to like position leverage like with angles yeah, yeah. and stuff like that to get to the basket but like Kyrie does the sidestep moves and then to the hoop you yeah. know what I mean so he gets someone off balance first when Isaiah kind of uses his the fact that he's only 5'9 yeah, he can yeah. get under someone really almost literally run between their legs I just want to see him have a game and I don't want to see it be the same thing but I want to see him have a game where it's like everybody's just setting him up Kyrie almost like I don't want it to be like Kobe-esque where hey we're going for the fucking points right right but I want to see him go out there and you have like a Kyrie like a, come down the court and sit and get an ISO. Like, <laughs> all right, ISO Kyrie, just like one on one. No, just and just get like go crazy and just watch him get like set up in the corner for a shot. Get you know, get everybody move out and like like ISO and just let him take it to the yeah. hoop. Like give him a, a little quick give and go and just right. like just quick just quick shit like every time yeah. and like quick forty five points. Yeah, and then just be like and against like Cleveland. By the uh, way, how they could be open at night, man. How smart, yeah. How smart is the NBA? Oh, they're the best. Like they're the best. Cleveland at Cleveland, right? Boston and at was, Cleveland in Cleveland, even, like that was even booked before the trade. I know. So now it's but just it's like just, oh, it's the best. The NBA schedule is so good. The fucking Christmas Day games are always great. The opening night is always really good. It's and I like a conference finals rematch. I like that the NBA is kind of like. I think the NBA should strike a deal with the NFL. Like, hey, can you just? You can have Christmas Eve. Can you just stay off right. Christmas? Yeah, just yeah. Let us. Like I understand sometimes it right. falls on a Sunday, but yeah. can we just like you get Thanksgiving? Yeah, you can have it. Right? Like, don't worry about like, it. We will not. Let us I won't Christmas. put a game on Thanksgiving. Right. Yeah, see, here's oh, that's fucking yeah. NBA suicide to right. put a game on Thanksgiving. But yeah. I think Christmas 
Like I, as much as I get it, like, mm-hmm. and I know you're going to shit on me for saying it, but it's a bad day to do it. I think it's a bad day for any sport. Mm-hmm. No, I agree. I think it's a horrible day. Like the there are games on Christmas. WWE, right? On Christmas yeah, last well, it depends year. if it's a Sunday. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think Sunday there was Monday. on Christmas yeah. last year. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but the WWE like <laughs> right now is going to do it on Christmas on a Monday. Yeah. They're having a fucking raw on Monday. Yeah. They're doing. They're still going to do a raw. Right. Who the fuck's going to be in the like? No, people are at home with their family because you are home with your family. But what it doesn't set the president president is that you're supposed to be a family company Mm -hmm. and care about your fans and care about the the players, which once again, we've established they don't really. If you wanted to show that you do care, you don't play on Christmas. Yeah. Let him go home and spend the week. Let let Steph Curry go home and sit there with his beautiful little daughter on his lap and have Christmas with her. Yeah. Not be out playing fucking basketball. And they always put like big matchups, and I'm like, it's always the best. Yeah, what the, the oh fuck? The you know what? You know what would Christmas be so the good. smart thing to do is to limit how many matchups you have yeah. on Christmas, and and to make it like Five. the Clippers versus the Lakers. Yeah. Or so you stay home. So you're if you're not if you're not directly at the at uh, home court, Knicks, you're Knicks like Boston. yeah, you're like right, right. within you know hours. you can get in the hours. car and yeah. be there in two. So hours. that way you can still have a game, and then the players can still go home and right. be with their families. And yeah, they don't fly to, home within. An that hour. would be this. That would be if you want to present like, hey, we're still going to make some Christmas money, and we're going to present this idea that we right Miami or care about right. yeah, yeah, yeah that we right, care right. about. You know, Dallas, San Antonio. Like there if you you're go. gonna have an NFL, there we go. We just fucking booked it for yeah. you. Uh, I hate to sound like fucking. I just don't give a fuck to be honest Grinch. with you. I don't care. I know you <laughs> I don't, don't care. I know you're gonna say I something. I'm with you. I, I don't give a fuck about that. They get paid that. millions no, just, of fucking dollars. They can open gifts any day of the week. They can. You know what I mean? Like it's if just, you're an NBA player, you know what I would do if I was an NBA player and I'm making millions? I'd be like, hey kids. Uh, Daddy has to make money on Christmas, right. so we're going to move it to right. August 25th. <laughs> right, yeah. or, or Christmas will be two days before Christmas or I'll, two days after. You I'll know, double how many gifts I give you right. August 25th. Right. That's when Christmas is. I mean, unless unless you're – Now, what happened if you gave Christmas birth to your kid on the 21st? 25th? 25th? 25th. Of what? December? No. For Christmas? Oh. No, you said it's – you're saying August, right? Yeah. Like say you get your kids born on that day. Now you gotta oh, do you got Christmas triple triple and gifts. birthday and you have That's to the worst like, birthday. That's the worst birthday ever, by the way. Like, I'm just I, saying. I have a, yeah, I have yeah, a cousin yeah. who's born on, on Christmas Eve. Like that, that sucks, sucks you for get her. Screwed. Yeah, you get screwed. I, I just Oh, you get double gifts. Nah, it's not true. Right. It's not true. Yeah, you get, get less get, gifts. You get like an extra gift. For me, that's the business, and the business is you you're going to be if you want to be really good at your sport and you want to be on a really good team you're going to play on christmas because that's when the best matchups are so you lose christmas but they also have the other four months off for the year you know five months off for the year they get to play a game (laughs) no i get it i'm just saying like if you're i lift like fucking 70 pound boxes all day they get to shoot a ball into a hoop right like i understand they work at what they do i get i get But to put it into perspective they make like millions and millions more than I do to put a ball into a hoop. Yeah, but here's the... My whole point was, like, his little daughter doesn't know that. Well, his right. little daughter going to learn. <laughs> she well, she will learn when, she's like, learn when she's like 10 and goes, Dad, I want a car, but you're 10, but you're Steph Curry. Right. Give me a car. Right. Yeah. Like, once she gets that part right, of her right. mindset... She's going to be upset that Dad wasn't home for Christmas... Right up until Dad shows up on the twenty sixth right. with fucking loaded thirty million gifts, and she's yeah. gonna be like, shows "Who gave the- a fuck that <laughs> you weren't here?" <laughs> shows up with a WB Mason truck full of gifts. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I mean, the this is a long Bach talk because <laughs> we're still was we're still it a Bach talk? Do we do double that. back to rap session at let's, some let's point? Do that. So, uh, but the the idea of the Bach talk does kind of tie in with our next segment. <laughs> So Kevin Durant, on both of his accounts, voted on our Facebook poll this week. Uh, what if his What if his other name was like Devin Corant? <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, we had a Facebook poll this week. Uh, Aaron, you son of a bitch, you did it. 
pissed me off. What was the poll? The over-under was 56.5 points for the Patriots-Saints game. He bet the under. It was 56 points. <laughs> Was the total score? That's how high the over under was, huh? Fifty six and a half. Yeah, I took the over. I was thinking forty two twenty, whatever. That's sixty two points. I yeah. didn't think that was that bad. Uh, Fifty six and a half. I'll take the over any time, <laughs> over and over again, and you got it by a half a fucking point. You <laughs> goddamn bastard. So Aaron does win the social media second. Also, kind of a, a miss. Wait, didn't Goskowski miss a point? He missed an extra point. I would have so won. Fucking, <laughs> yeah, fucking won if hey. Goskowski wasn't this fucking dumb Polak. Bastard. Hey, so I'm Polish. Yeah, damn sure. Yeah, you guys can count on each other. You right rigged guys. it. <laughs> I made it. You like, rigged it like I that boxing match. I made a call. You motherfucker. Jesus. I Christ. made a call. So, and also this kind of ties in with the box talk and the social media seconds since we kind of just went back and forth there. Uh, on Facebook today, I posted a story of a pee wee football team, ages eight and under, which kneeled for the national anthem. Uh, I love it. I'm sure Aaron doesn't. And I'm just interested to see what you had to say about it. That's all. I, I, I put it up there figuring that it'd be a decent talking point. So go nuts. I, if you need to just unload, you can. I won't no, 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 with no, you. no, 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 no. I just think it's disgraceful to do that with like a bunch of nine and ten year olds. Aaron's currently looking up all their Facebook so he can add them to <laughs> add the, them list. the list. Every single one of them, seven year old oh. list, six year old list. No, I just list. think like right. you as an adult, and this is like the other the other problem I have with like. So let me real not to interrupt you, but I just want to preface the story so so you have the full backdrop. On yeah, it. yeah. The coach was confronted by one of the kids on the team. This is the, from the coach's story. So uh, if you choose to believe it or not, it's up, it's up to the consumer. So the coach was was approached by one of the kids. Kid says, why is Kaepernick and all these people kneeling? Right? He says, um, they're protesting. And he says, can we protest? And he says, I don't have a problem if you want to do that, but you just have to make sure you know why you are. And the kid answered and said, because we're getting killed and no one's going to jail for that it. That guy's full of shit. I'm sorry, but <laughs> so, you're telling me some kid was just randomly walked up to a coach and was like, why is Kaepernick kneeling? I believe it because I think there's conversations had in the household where the, the parents are probably talking yeah, about then, it or whatever. Yeah, I believe it if the kid knew already right. why Colin Kaepernick was, was, kneel, was kneeling. Yeah. Therefore, he wouldn't lead the coach off with... Why is Kaepernick kneeling? Yeah, right. He or, would or, know already. It may it may not have been why is he kneeling, but like why is he in trouble for kneeling, or why? Like there was some conversation about the kneeling, about the protest. Right? I don't know. That story just smells fishy so as then, fuck. Then the coach says that he says, y- "Yeah." Do I think it was a kid's choice? Probably. Do I think this conversation with the coach happened? Was a little misguided. Maybe? I yeah. I or don't. A little guided. I just don't. I don't. Uh, that story sounds fishy. So then, the, so then the coach says. Yeah, kinda. Yeah, you know, I mean, that's sort of that's sort of the theme. So he reached out to. He says, "I think we want to do that." So then the the coach reached out to the parents and said, "Hey, a kid approached me and says, you know, they want to do it. I don't mind if they want to do it. I just want you guys to be on the same page. You know what I mean? Because he doesn't want to be the coach that allowed the kid to do it. And the parents are like, "What the hell did you teach my kid? To, you know what I mean? So supposedly all the parents are on board." Everyone's on the same page about it. So I just wanted before, if you felt a certain way about just the yeah, coach yeah. or just the parent, you know what I mean? You, you, you had the, that's the alleged story from the coach's mouth. So that's that. So I just don't understand why. It, so what it, what I take away from it and to preface my opinion on it is I've watched my girlfriend's niece come over and tell me, Donald Trump's going to build a wall and kick all these horrible people out of our country. Well, Mm -hmm. where did you hear that? Well, daddy told me. Mm -hmm. Well, that's fucked up that Mm -hmm. you're telling your nine-year-old that. Nine and ten-year-olds, I understand they need to understand right from wrong. Mm -hmm. They need to understand that there are bad things that happen in this country. But to sit there and push your political view on it, Mm-hmm. A child that hasn't dealt with that in their personal life yet, yeah, is fucked up. Right. I think it's wrong for you to do that. Yeah. I think it's wrong to fucking kneel to begin with. Mm-hmm. Then you make 
and and I'm not saying I understand like it probably the child wanted to do it, mm-hmm. but the child doesn't understand. Oh, there's no way. hundred percent value of what. No, you're talking yeah, about. Right, right. And if you tell a kid the reason why we're doing it is because people are killing people, mm-hmm. and we don't think that, and they're not going to jail for it, what are you doing? Mm-hmm. Why why are you having that discussion with your fucking nine year old? Right. Right. Like I, I get it. You have to be realistic with your children. Mm-hmm. But at nine years old, if that kid's walking down the street, mm-hmm. just going to school with his backpack on, yeah. In fuck, and it was in what Illinois? Yeah, in Illinois. Yeah, yeah. How many cops are going to stop that little kid and shoot him? Right. Well, if he's just walking to school, Chicago right. is in Illinois. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Where but Chicago is, is also the murder murder right. capital right. of the That's country. What I'm saying. Right. But if yeah, but yeah. no, but like. If this is like suburbs, mm. which is probably where it's, it's fucking like okay. Let's go to Illinois, where I've been before, and it is yeah. just flat terrain for miles and miles, and nothing out there. And it's all it is is fields. Yeah, yeah. and that's why you have a football field, right? Yeah, that's ridiculous. Yeah. Why are you pushing your views, a parent's views, onto their children? Now, I'm not going to misinform well, they my might child. Actually, be worried if you, if they're a black parent. And they have a nine-year-old black son. They might be worried. In Illinois? I don't think it matters. I think that's just the idea. The the tone set the around tone the country. in the country is that black parents are worried for their children, like their kids. They think their kids are going to get shot. So I, maybe they've I had. I, I've had. I've, I think a black parent has a very different conversation with a black nine-year-old than two white parents have with a white nine-year-old when it comes to police officers. Yeah. Yeah, that's probably true. I I, I, have I mean, a, granted, I, I have I'm a, not black, so I have no yeah. idea if my, what I'm <laughs> yeah, saying right. is based in any fact. But I just the, the idea on the top of my head is that black parents have very different conversations with their children regarding police, yeah. as opposed to white. Children. I take that for data. White <laughs> parents. I had a discussion with one of my friends. Yeah, he is black, mm-hmm. and we talked about the whole thing about the 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 protesting and the. And the and the KKK getting together and and doing all that shit. And he started telling me, he's like, Aaron, there's people on Facebook that I know that are of the black community Mm -hmm. telling all the gangs to get together. So when they try to do a protest, we can go down there and we can all fuck them up. Right. And he said to me, he goes, and they're trying to get me to go down there. Right. He's like, one, I got kids. Right. Two, who gives a shit? Right. Because they're misinformed white people. Mm-hmm. Right. And three, he goes, unless they're coming to my door and affecting my children, right. I don't care what you do. Or, yeah, you right, have this right, freedom of speech. Go right. ahead. Knock your fucking socks off. But you do not come to my house and tell my kids what they are to learn and what, you know, was right, right, right and whatever, 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 and all your beliefs. I think that's what it is. I think a child should be able to develop. In a, now, if your kid comes home and says... A racial slur, racial slur, and they want to kill this person because, or hurt somebody because of another color or whatever. Yeah, no, correct them. Fucking a, yeah. But if your kid, your kid should be taught that. Not, you shouldn't be teaching your kids that every cop's going to kill you because you're black. Right. I have a black friend that <laughs> I'm not I'm, racist. I have a black friend. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. No, but I've, one of my my best friends that I grew up with. He told me that his parents told him, and they weren't racist, they just have a different experience. So, like, mm-hmm. they told him and his brother, you got you got to take everything you're going to get in life because those white people ain't going to hand you a damn thing. And, and from a, like, black family to mm-hmm. a black, you know what I mean? Now, is that teaching a some sort of, like, resentment towards white people? You could say, yeah, maybe, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But... I, I'm best friends with the guy. I've yeah. met the parents. We're all friendly. We're, you know what I mean? Like, so it wasn't like a all white people are evil thing. Yeah. It was a, listen, from what I've experienced, you know what I mean? You have to be extra qualified. You have to work extra hard. You've got to be the guy that puts in late hours, whatever, you know what I mean, to even try to make, be competitive because the hiring world is different or whatever. So I think there's conversations like that that, Maybe that conversation was unnecessary. I don't know. You know what I mean? Because I'm not a black guy coming up in America. So I don't know what the difference is. And that's my, my, my white guild and white privilege to not know. You know what I mean? And I, I, I hate that I feel like that one of my buddies 
may have a may yeah. may grow up differently. You know what I mean? Like that sucks, but maybe the conversation is really important maybe. too. Well, I don't know. I'm, you know that same friend to like the whole thing with cops and shit. Yeah, same guy went to a college party. Mm-hmm. College party got out of hand. Yeah, he took off running on foot with a couple friends. Guy grabbed him from behind. He thought it was one of the guys that was getting out of hand at the party. Mm-hmm. Punches the guy, runs away. Yeah. As he's looking back, realizes it's a cop. Yeah, that'll get the you. next day at work, they ask him to step outside. Four state police officers, guns drawn, mm-hmm. get down on the ground. He got down on the ground, served his time. And like he said, like I said, right. he doesn't want to go around looking for trouble. Right, right. He realized that he made a mistake. Yeah, and he, and I understand like that's a one case yeah. where they yeah, yeah. didn't just shoot the guy because he punched a cop. Right, and he's lucky he didn't get shot. And he said, I, "I'm lucky I didn't get shot after I hit him." Right. Yeah. That's yeah. you know what I mean. Like, yeah. Unfortunately, that's true. Yeah. You, you well, s- I mean, if you look at the stats, I mean, think about how many interactions police officers have. It on is a, a daily very basis. Basis. right. Yeah. Yeah. It's like. Hundreds, of thousands, of thousands, and millions of interactions between mm-hmm. people and police officers right. around the country, yeah, daily. And of that, like ten three, of them go three hundred right, people yeah. get shot a right, year, right? Out of millions of interactions, right? Yeah, I mean, it's a very, very. The thing is, it's not just people getting shot. No, it's it's people it's being mistreated because harassment. they harassed harassed yeah. and being mistreated because they are of another right. ethnic group. I understand that, and I'm not downplaying that that does happen in this country, and mm-hmm. it is fucked up. Yeah, but for you to tell your kid that doesn't know that, right? Like, I get it. Like, keep your kid like smartened up. Hey, Informed. stranger danger and all that shit. And right, I get right. that. I understand that. I'm not a parent, mm-hmm. so I I don't know how to like. Ha- I don't have those conversations. But I've watched people that on both sides of that fence. Now that same friend, his uncle, yeah, doesn't like white people. Right. Married a white woman. Of course. Actually, and he doesn't really right. no, but before, I mean, before but, ball. but but <laughs> right, yeah, yeah, but yeah. he likes me because I'm a nice person. Right. But when he was growing up, yep. he was yep. he he saw mistreatment, or he was raised to believe that white people mm-hmm. are horrible. Right. My friend, majority of his friends are white. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like you, if you just if you just get into the mindset of we're all human beings, right, right, and tr- that's how isn't that what we're supposed to be doing? Is teaching right. kids to mm-hmm. not be that way? To get along, but for you right, to right. teach your kid that hey, Colin Kaepernick is standing up for your right to be black, right. and to not be shot by a cop. Mm-hmm. That's not that's not the message you should be sending to your kid, right? He shouldn't be having that conversation with you at nine years old. Right, right. Yeah, I mean, it's... Living in the inner city Chicago, where they're fucking getting... their shootings mm-hmm. every day. Right. Different story, but come on, man. Yeah, it's just, it's it's a weird thing. I, I can even try to put my finger on the pulse of what that is. Like, when do you, and where where do you have the conversation? You know I mean? Like, when is it? Is, is Teach your kid 10, right from wrong. 10 or 11, come all right, on, to man. say. You like, know what I mean? Like, I just, I don't know... The difference, I, can't, I couldn't I couldn't even, I'd be lying to you if I said a parent said, well, I think at 10 years old, you should tell your kid that this is a real social issue and to be worried and be concerned. Or, you know, I, mean, I don't know when you have that conversation, but it's, regarding it's the, interesting. Regarding the kids kneeling, if in my opinion, if, if it's the kid's choice, if the kids were truly not put up to it, if they, were, if they definitely just whatever came to the coach and was like, hey, we want to take a knee or whatever. I'm I'm fine with it. But yeah. coming back to that point is like my friend, my my girlfriend's niece. Mm. She she hears mom and dad, the people that she looks up to the most, right. sitting there every day and badgering these guys are going to do this and this and this. when you hear your parents, like I'm sure you have a good relationship with your parents. Yeah, huh? you have a good relationship with your parents, right. yeah, yeah. and you, and they have formed some of your beliefs. And I, oh, and of course, yeah, I, and they definitely do. And I have some of my beliefs because of my parents. Mm-hmm. Like well, reason why kneeling during the national anthem does right. upset me. Yeah, or the ple- you know, and and seeing people sit during the pledge of allegiance, like mm-hmm. that's why it upsets me. And I right. and I get that's that's how I was raised. That's totally that's how right somebody to feel else. That way. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. but at the same time, like I've watched my mom. Say fucked up shit. Mm-hmm. Use racial slurs. 
Right. I don't use them. Right, right. And I don't think that's fucking appropriate. Yeah. Now, I, it's the same thing with, and I, this is, a, and it's kind of swaying away from it, but it's the same reason why when people tell you, you shouldn't let your kids play Grand Theft Auto, teach you to go out and steal a car and kill oh, people, somebody. I played those games. My little right. brother played those games. Right. I've never stolen a car and I've never shot somebody. Right. Are you so sure about that? I, I mean, I don't. Have, I've never been caught. You've never been proven guilty. Yeah, innocent until proven guilty in this great country. Thank of you ours. very much. I don't own a gun. Wink, wink. Right. Yeah. But my point is, right. You just, just hold be- it and it cycles through. Yeah. Bazooka, <laughs> yeah. knife. But uh, the whole point is like, if you're not teach, the whole point is to teach your kids not to be mm-hmm. like this and be positive and and look towards making the future better. Mm-hmm. Don't. If you're teaching your kids that, you, you, you're you doing something right. that's going to keep creating the same cycle. You're not making it better. You're not cre- you're not teaching the children that aren't black on your team. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, you're teaching them, like, oh, yeah, like, you know, somebody that's white killed somebody that was black. Right. That's, hey, come on. Like, come on. Right. Like, it should be someone killed somebody, not... Mm-hmm. That and I get that's not the point right now, but right. like at a certain point, it should be we're all race. we're all human beings, and that's what you should be teaching your kid, not teaching your kid right. that you know. I, I, that's just so, how I look at it. I, I I do want to wrap this part up, but I do have a question. Like you brought up the stranger danger, like you teach yeah. your kid that. Yeah. What if? And this is this is I think completely plausible. What if the parent feels as equal? is equally nervous about a stranger kidnapping their kid as a police officer may kill theirs. Like, I think, I just don't think it's a a different, I think it's a different convert. Like when I was saying like a black family probably has a different conversation with their 10 year old son than a white family does. Like I remember my parents sitting me down like, Hey, make sure, you know, if you're ever approached by a police officer, you know, yes, sir, comply with their commands or whatever. Yeah. And I'm sure the conversation with the black family is kind of like, you know, be extra careful, you know, hands always in the, like, right, right. even right. more precaution than a white family would teach their kid. Like, mm-hmm. Right. And like, I, I, like, I, I was I never agree. told, yeah. like, agree with that. stay completely still. Don't move yeah. unless the officer tells you to. Like, right. Yeah. No mm. sudden movements. But mm. that might be, all those things might be something a black family would teach mm. their kid because right. any of those things could... Yeah. Could lead to them getting shot. I, you know I, I have, mean? I have, I have a kid that I grew up with. He's in and out of jail his whole life. Mm-hmm. White dude. Every yeah. time he sees a cop, he freaks out. Right, right. Oh, they're yeah. gonna pull me over. Oh, I'm like, you're not right. doing anything. Right. Right. I get nervous when I see. A well, I get, <laughs> I get nervous when I get pulled over. My adrenaline I get nervous starts when I see going. A cop. Just right. like, I don't get nervous when I see a cop. I get nervous if I get pulled and over. I never I'm did. Like, I've never shit. done anything wrong. I mean, I'm always like, I can't afford this no, fucking I look, ticket, I look, man. I look this so. fucking guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. It's going to cost me money. It's going to cost and, me money. And, and I just think, puts him on credit. We'll see. Yeah, I always... Goes. It always seems to be when I get pulled over, I have a beater on. There's yeah. zero chance. And a shaved head. Yeah. I just look suspect. There, yeah, like, he course, might have yeah. just killed somebody. Right. He's he's either a pig slaughterer or or there's a man dead in his trunk. Yeah. Like it's one of the There's two. a high yeah. possibility. There's a high possibility. Yeah. No, I mean, it's an interesting topic. I mean, and it's, it's, it's one of those things that I felt like I wanted to talk about because I know we've had the conversation. Yeah, about I don't need to violently argue about it. Right. I just... It's, but it's tough. It's also one of the things where I really don't want to talk about it because I can't comment on what it's like <laughs> being a black family or raising a black child or being a coach of a you know I don't know mostly black football. But I don't know. I don't know the color of the kids either. That's a, I don't know. This has but, to do with Kaepernick though, and I'm like a hundred percent on the someone please sign Kaepernick train. Yeah, I'm okay with him not playing. I just no, I want I'm him okay to play. with the fact that he's. I need him to play. I need him to come in and play super badly for a team just so everyone can shut up. It's, it's the same everyone. thing with the Tebow uh, effect. It was the same thing with yeah. Tebow. Everybody's like, somebody's going to sign him. Somebody's gonna, somebody has to sign him. Like, no, nobody no, does. The thing if is, though, not everyone core. got sick of Tebow. E- like, even Tebow fans got sick of Tebow. Yeah. I don't I get- think anyone is sick of Kaepernick except for the people who, honest to goodness, just think, just think Kaepernick sucks at quarterback. Right. Like, the people who are, like, pro-Kaepernick people, like, genuinely believe that he's a good quarterback and he could turn a franchise around. And the people who aren't crazy and know that Kaepernick sucks has nothing to do with his political, like, obviously him being, like, not being picked up probably, like, definitely has something to do at least a little bit with this whole kneeling thing. 
But I, a large part of it is that he also sucks. Right. All so. Right. Yeah. I'm with you. I want him to be picked up and then suck, and then we'll never have to hear about him again. Yeah, perfect. All right. Yeah, I'm good. I just, I wasn't like no. violently angry. I'm no, just, no, no. It ups- it makes me sad that like that's what I, I we're still teaching it. kids. I heard about it, and uh, you were the first person I thought of because I was like, I know we had the whole kneeling thing, and I was like, this is interesting, like eight, eight and under. So uh, yeah, I just figured we didn't be touch on it or whatever. But other than that, I'm ready. I'm ready to wrap this fucking oh, show yeah. up. There mm-hmm. you go. Or not? Is it not playing? Had a tough time pressing these buttons today, huh? Yeah. Before we go into closing time, let's stop for clothing time. Go to facebook.com slash anyweatherclothingco. That's the letters N-E, Weather Clothing Co. Or you can go to anyweatherclothingco.com. Check out the Facebook store, facebook.com slash anyweatherclothingco. Go in the shop. You can find exclusive BS Nerds merchandise there, a hat and a t-shirt as of right now, with much more to come. Also, check out the other clothes he has. He also has a retro throwback shirt. He's got something for Foxwoods now, and he also has his own brand going. Go to anyweatherclothingco.com or facebook.com slash anyweatherclothingco and use the exclusive BS Nerds discount code, which is the letters B-S-N-E-R-D-S, and then the number 17. That's BS Nerds 17, and you have to capitalize the BSN. So that's capital B, capital S, capital N, E-R-D-S, 17. <laughs> Do that. I just think Jim Carrey. Oh yeah. Alrighty then. Yeah. yeah. Just do all right. Um, like a glove. <laughs> like a glove. Uh, Aaron, what do you got for closing that? Uh, I am gonna go out to NXT this week. Yeah. I'm gonna go see some WWE NXT at uh, URI. Um, I think it's the Ryan Center. Yeah, Kingston. In uh, Kingston, Rhode Island, or North Kingston, whatever. I'm going. Uh, it's on Friday night. Uh, I'm excited. I'm yeah. going alone. I'm rolling solo. Oh, solo. So if it, you know, <laughs> you might intense. be getting a phone call for some bail money. <laughs> That's I, but you know what? Though? <laughs> well, you're going by yourself to a wrestling show. Oh yeah. Oh, nailed it. Done deal. If you see on going the news, by yourself, man. going by yourself to any kind of public event, just has there. this aura of creep around. Have it. you ever gone and eaten dinner? By yourself at a sit-down restaurant? I have have gone to Moe's and sat down and ate. No, no, no. I'm talking about like a legit... Yeah. Like, like nice Italian like, restaurant and like, sat down and like had a nice plate of like where there is chicken a lady parm. who sits you. Like a yeah. Host oh, yeah. <laughs> Done that. Done Oof. that. Like you walk up and be like, table for one. Done and it. then she sits you down. Yeah. And you order like an app. Oh, yeah. Done yeah, it. No, I've never done that. Done that. That is in an, in and out a new in, level of creep. I've in, done the movies in and out in by 25 myself. minutes. In and out in 25 See, minutes. I've heard good things about going to the movies by yourself. Do it all the time. I've done the movies Do it by all myself time. once. And I think that might all be the, the only socially acceptable time because you're, you're gen- watching something. Yeah, it's just a quiet, right. dark it's area. It's dark. You're not right. really where, paying attention to the person next to you unless yeah. you're getting a hand job. Right. Yeah. What? Is, yeah. What movies are you going to I've see? I've had Pee-wee sex Herman. in the theater, all right? Yeah. Listen. This like, fucking guy gets it done. Fucking Pee Wee over here. <laughs> this guy gets it done. Uh, you know, uh, definitely the creepy. You know where you won't be having sex? At the creep. NXT show. Okay. Because no. you're going by yourself. Yes. Well, you never know. There might be a nice, you know, yeah, nice might run, nice might run, in, might run into Oscar. She's she's on the mend. She's there. You go. Um, no, that uh, it should be a good show. I'm excited. Yeah. I'm excited to go. Like, I did you make a sign. See, no, I'm not gonna fucking make a sign. <laughs> uh, no, I, I'm excited. I to came go. here by myself. <laughs> <laughs> Who looking, wants? I'm looking for a date. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, I have friends that live out in Rhode Island, so I'll probably go out and uh, go out and meet them for drinks after or something like that. And um, also on uh, Sunday, we'll be recording a new episode of WECP. Right As on. I call it, WECPA. Yep. Okay. Uh, Ger- that works. Gerald will be back. Uh, um, is that his full name? Gerald, yeah. Gerald. Is that really his name? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. All right. that's, his, Gerald, that's his real name. His name is Gerald W. Gerald F. Gardner. Gerald F. Gardner. 
Sure. Gerald <laughs> Theodore Gerald. Flynn. Yeah. You okay. know what's really funny? My buddy MJ used to like make up middle names for all of our friends. And he'd be like, David Theodore Dawson, how are you? And I'm just like, that's not my middle name. And he's like, is it though? And then like my buddy Kevin, Kevin Huey Hetner. How are you? And it's not even close. Like it's like James or whatever. And he's like, Kevin Huey, how are you? Oh, yeah. You <laughs> just like, pick up the like Thurgood. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So you just, that's Aaron it. Thurgood Holiday. How you doing? There you like, go. That Go is on. my middle name. How did you know? Nice. Nailed it. Gunther. That's your middle name? No. I, I think I knew that. No. <laughs> I think I knew that. Yes. Gunther. What, what is your middle name? I'm not telling you. Ah, interesting. Interesting. Anyway. I'll tell you. I'll show me. Okay. <laughs> it just say. got creepy, dude. Yeah, yeah. You're talking about me being creepy? Yeah, right. You're getting weird. I'll show you um, mine if you show me yours. But uh, I think we're going to. Did you just start with a D? You have a D and then a D, mm-hmm. so that's pretty interesting. If it's D, it's, it should if be it's Andrew. A, yeah, Dad. dad right. So I could just be Dad. Hey, Dad. And dad. 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 Yeah. No. No. And uh, hashtag. Dud. Hashtag. It's uh, Ulysses. David Ulysses Dawson. That's pretty good. Dud. It's a good guess, but it's not. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, and then I think we're gonna also probably have uh, a possible guest this week. Uh-oh. Another another uh, guest. Maybe maybe a reoccurring guest. Um, and we're Stone prime. Cold Steve Austin <laughs> coming live to Just, WECP. Oh, what a tease, huh? What a teaser yeah. that is. Oh, did I blow that? Mm. Fuck, I'm sorry. Yeah. You know what I really should do is get a recording device and go down and see if I can talk to somebody at NXT. NXT. You got a phone. Rick Flair in his first interview post heart attack. He's done about like 300. On WECP. <laughs> the first premiere. Woo! <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, yeah, just use your phone. Yeah. Love voice recorder. Well, I want to get the like that's nice little that's what everyone's doing. Insert oh, mic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, sure. no, I think it'd be cool to talk to somebody down there. You got a busy weekend. You got a podcast. You got a wrestling show to go to. You got yeah. a fucking Red Sox game next Tuesday. Oh, yeah. All over the place. Uh-huh. Aaron's covering the map. I think you should take your phone down to WCP or to NXT. I'm sorry, mm-hmm. and uh, try and do interviews like Chris Farley did interviews. Uh, where he's just like, hey, you, you know, you suplex that guy. <laughs> yeah, that was awesome. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, Sunday, I will be watching the Pats game. Yep. And then running over to the casino and watching Chad Dizzle Davis's show. Passive popcorn. Passive yeah. popcorn. Yep. They're Black gonna show. be at uh, live at what comics. Uh, I don't know what the movie is. This They're voting. Th- They're voting. Are they the voting movie. on it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. What he's got are. like I think four comedians lined up. When's he start his uh, Rappaport part podcast? Um, I believe he's recorded one so far, and I don't know when he's gonna. I don't know when I'm gonna be going on. I I still have to work that. Does out Does he do them. them weekly or like? A, are they gonna? I think out he's like just, daily or I don't know. I think weeks? I haven't gotten that all. So hard out to stack up. I think he's daily just podcast. Well, I think well, he, he record them all first, and then you and then announce them. Well, yeah, but you announce the show. Huh? He already announced the show. No, I think what he's going to do is like like you said. Like I think it it could also be like one of those deals where in the off week or like he's going to record the normal podcast mm-hmm. and then halfway through the week, the rest of the week, like in between. So there's yeah. like days only. Oh, yeah, yeah, there's yeah, only yeah. like three or four days off. Kind of like between. our network. Like, yeah, where there's always something coming. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. I think that's what they're, I think maybe because of how we do ours. Yeah. Maybe he's going to put a, a little influence. extra one out there here and there. Yeah. Influencing some guys. No. Uh, no, that's cool. Uh, it would be cool if, like, he – and, yeah, and obviously he can do whatever he wants. But it would be cool if he pre-recorded them all and then did one a day for a month. Like, Yeah, know, I like that months. idea. But I was saying he already – like, I would pre-record them all. Mm-hmm. That's a lot of – Then announce the project and then put them out. Right. Yeah, you know yeah, what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Like, like, he here's already, a Michael Rappaport He series. already said I'm doing the things yeah. and then – That's true. Like how Netflix comes out, like here it is, it's all at once. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like, boom, boom, yeah, but they boom, usually boom. talk. They usually put out a teaser. Oh yeah, right, right. Like yeah. the idea like is really good events. about like watching all yeah. movies for all one actor and then doing podcasts on specific movies. Like I like that idea. Yeah, yeah. But no, I would just good. do it all like a Netflix series. Like yeah. right. this is the Rappaport series here. Right. You know, and they just get one a day. I don't know. I don't know if you should do one a day though. Like it's really hard. To, that's hard. I'm to, just thinking that's like flood in the marketplace. See what if <laughs> Little see, Wayne circa 2007. Yeah. yeah. Well, I was gonna say. I think. I think the best way to do it would be like do it like uh, how. Um, oh God. Um, uh, yeah. No, I'm, I'm really blanking right now. Um, 
Do, 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 oh, I forgot his name. Do, do. Kevin Smith? No, 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 no. no. Uh, Cole Rogan. Cabana. Okay. How Cole Cabana will like record at like every show he goes and does, yeah. and he'll do, and he'll just save them to like a week that he can't record one. Yeah. yeah. And he'll be like, oh man, I have this one. Got some in the bank. Yeah, and just bank them. Burt on. Kreischer does that a lot, where he just records them and then he still only puts them out on Wednesdays or whatever. Yeah. But he just decides which one he wants to put out. That's what I'm saying. Usually correlating with whatever the guest is pitching that week or whatever. Yeah. And that's what he could do. Yeah. But we don't know. We don't know. And I'm, I'm intrigued to find out. Yeah. So I'm going to do that. I mean, I'm, like you said, I am going to have a busy, yeah. like, these, like, I think Seven out, days. I think I'm out on the Sunday show, the live show. It's just too, you know, compared to you, it's not oh, too yeah. much. But. You guys definitely busy this weekend. Yeah. So, so I'm. Yeah. No, Joe's got nothing going on. Yeah. Nothing so crazy. technically, <laughs> technically, on the weekend uh, on the he weekend, doesn't. Good. You're done by Saturday Sunday. Uh, yeah, I guess. So yeah. That's how you want to Friday look at it. you sure. have a thing going yeah, on, but like thing. Saturday and Sunday it's you a got minor thing. you have no just a little you have no you have no excuse. A little hiccup. You have to be there. I'm definitely the watching the Pats game no matter what's going on. <laughs> I'll tell so you that. What do you, what do you got in your closing time? Uh, should I pitch the podcast first, or should I talk about what I have going <laughs> on this weekend? Depends on how well you. Yeah, what's your, more important? Is that like, <laughs> priority on, thing? What do you think has more longevity? Well, my podcast doesn't have a lot of plays, so I put out a podcast. <laughs> it's a bold move. All right, uh, all right. Stick to your guns. I put out a podcast. Uh, that shirt's coming soon, sometime. Yeah, nice. Eventually, I will get that figured uh, out for you. Joe's fantasy yeah, field goal. Man. Um, go listen to that. It's just like every other Joe's fantasy field goal you ever listen to. Uh, it's three points. It's three points. Everyone knows the rules. Yeah. Um, so there's that. And, uh, you know, side note, getting married this weekend. Hitched. Yeah. Good deal. Just well, this not this weekend. I'm getting married on Friday. So Friday. Probably so by the time you hear this, tomorrow. Right? Right. By the work, by the work weekend. Yeah. Right. So. It's crazy. Yeah, good for you. Yeah, like I said, not a lot going on this weekend. Yeah, nothing, nothing, <laughs> Pretty quiet nothing, weekend. Nothing major, just, you know, I'm gonna go do that for a few hours. Typical of the day. Friday. <laughs> where Where is it at, Joe? Lake of Isles. Lake of Isles. Golf nice. course, like across you did tell the me street from Foxwoods. Yeah. So we should do a drive by. So we're gonna crash. I'm going to be in the Foxwoods area, uh, but only Friday and Saturday. We're gonna crash it. Not Sunday. I hope you know that. I'm What's at Mohegan. Oh, you're at Comics Mohegan. That's right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Different casino. Different casino. But uh, I'm going to come in Vince Vaughn style. You won't fresh. have we a will. meal or a place to sit. <laughs> there's I'm Someone's okay. going to back out on you. I, know, I, hope, I sure hope not <laughs> yeah, because so I paid for them to sit one. there. There's always one. Uh, my buddy my buddy Kevin went to a wedding last weekend and he was like, I really don't want to go. I said, don't. And he's like, Dave, uh, you can't just back out of a wedding. I was like, what? They paid like six bucks for an extra chicken breast? Like, who cares? Just it's, one. It's more than that. It's six more than bucks. That. And I like more like a hundred some dollars a plate. It's just how weddings are. That bad? It, it I mean, like I got that. a deal, so I didn't pay a hundred something dollars. But how much? How much Dude, was your brand new? It's e- easily fifty. $60 how much was your? How much was your brand new copy of uh, NBA Two K? Right. That's how much I paid for you to eat that filet mignon. So <laughs> nice. sit in that seat, smile, yeah. and eat that filet. <laughs> And just shut up. Yeah. Okay, shut up. And, and just eat that filet. Or you can throw that filet against the wall as long as there's a nice check in the card you gave me for right. more than $60. Right. Shoo. That's crazy. Yeah. And please don't throw filet at my wedding. Right. <laughs> well, so now, is it drive by, by? Or is it for like the whole experience? No, it's by plate. So like the dessert costs more too. No, no, no. Well, no, 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 no. No, okay. no, it's, so, it's so food. It's the dinner. food is by per yeah, person. Yeah. Per person. They call it per plate. Per so, head. Per so, head. Per head. So the chicken breast is probably like six or seven bucks. Oh, for them? Oh, I'm paying way more than it's actually worth. Right. That, that's that's for like But you're also paying for service. You're paying and all for that the shit. venue. Yeah, and but even like I'm talking about Yeah, no, right, right. But I mean like it's like it's a boondoggle. And potatoes Dave, and fucking Dave, salad Dave, and then dessert Dave. and then this. So it's like Dave. really when you break it down. No, see what It's a boondoggle. What you're not, it is. What you're learning very quickly is Dave's gonna have like Subway catering. No, no, not even. <laughs> probably. Yeah. There's no, a possibility. Listen, yeah, which I won't eat at. We should take a meatball, a meatball the last pizza, money, pizza. The last money Dave ever had on a credit card. We should yeah. take that. We should buy 
a you're, barn somewhere. You're out. You're out. We should <laughs> we should buy a barn. We'll just get a small business loan okay, through right. Dave because right. he's not gonna pay back anyway. And then we'll buy a barn somewhere and we'll decorate it all nice. And yeah. then we'll charge people like three hundred thousand dollars to have a wedding in this barn. Right. And people will pay it. They will absolutely pay it. Now I'm not getting married in a barn, but I I know a lot of people, lot of people who have do. been married in barns. I've been to some one. I've been to one, and, and, and it's trust a good me, time. they paid way more than that barn is worth. Uh, the one that I went to was actually, you know, the famous, I don't want to say famous, but like that local barn where there's weddings all the time, like a couple towns up. No. It's like it's on a farm and then there's a huge fire and the barn caught fire. Yeah. And then it ruined, like destroyed the property. It The fire happened the week before their wedding. Oh. So, do you know what I'm talking about? Yep. 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 I, can't, I can't remember the name of it now, but it's like something farm or something. Yeah, I know, I know exactly what place you're talking about. And uh, so they had to go to like a like a normal just like overhead. Yeah. You know, like, like a tent. Uh, yeah, like, kind of like a tent thing. Yeah, but it was like a wooden one that they had already. But you know, like those over, you know, like Washington like parking gazebo. Garage, like a gazebo type thing. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And they had to do it there. And they got a killer discount on it. It was still nice. It was still really nice because they decorated that all oh, up. Oh, yeah, and yeah. Like a, and they got it for real cheap. So what you're saying is we don't even need a barn. You just we just get a really down. good so you, gazebo. See, yeah, yeah. Just, what, and then burn it down. Or, and and then, then we'll just put like you know Dave's Christmas be, light icicle things around. And I'm telling you tonight, start a fire at Lake of Isles and see if it'll hook you up. <laughs> I already got a discount there. <laughs> well, just double well, yeah, du- <laughs> doubling down. Yeah, yeah. Or I burned down my wedding venue, and they're like, "Yeah, fuck it, you already paid." So yeah, that's true. You're fucked. Yeah. No, what dumb. you're learning is Dave's going to have jail for arson. <laughs> Dave's going to have <laughs> what do they call it? Uh, where everybody brings something, freaking oh, like like a, a potluck, potluck like wedding. wedding. Oh, you know that's Dave, and he's going to look at me and be like, Aaron, yeah, you know what? It's Eighty not, people are coming. Bring enough. It's I'm not like a, it's not a what? terrible idea. <laughs> it's not a bad, not the worst idea you've had, and I'm probably going to apply that going forward. So <laughs> just don't worry. Right I'm in br- the backyard, right? Potluck no, wedding. I'm bringing no Jersey problem. mics. I'm bringing Jersey mics. Dave, do you have a DJ? Yeah, hold on. Let me put my phone in. Yep, gotcha. <laughs> Done. Nice. iTunes playlist wedding. Yeah. Sex like, playlist. All you're going to hear Done. is like, hold up. And I'm just going to play the podcast <laughs> yeah. on continuous loop. Dave, we can't dance to this. <laughs> it's, just what like, is... it's like Aaron. A- a- you guys Aaron, just keep talking like about nine-year-olds kneeling. I just don't know what this is. <laughs> I have like 35 seconds of music, kind of. Like, I yeah. don't even know what that is. It's like Aaron just saying his name over and over. So, but yeah. it's catchy. If you guys wait, catchy. if you guys wait till the end of the that. podcast, there's right. another song. There's another so, little breakdown there. That's yeah. good for about another 30 You can seconds. dance to the social media second. And you can dance if you want to. And yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> that uh, is the name of the podcast. You can dance if you want to. Yes. Yeah, there you go. Uh, <laughs> just wait for that reference the entire time. Like, oh, they named it. An you hour, can dance if you want an to. An hour and 53 minutes in. When you do can they dance say if that? You want to. Right. That's for weird. a three second clip of Dave As opposed singing to last song. week, where it was one nipple grip started off. Yeah. Right. And like then I said the Bane rip. about and then five million 27 times. 27 Banes from minute one By the way, to one thirty. Terrible estimate of how many Banes there were. I there's think way more than 27. There's way more than 27. Absolutely easily. There might, be, there might be 27 in the last like 30 seconds of that episode where I'm just like <laughs> saying it over and over again. <laughs> that was really bad. Um, if Aaron didn't pinch his nipples to start that show, I would have been like. That that I was such a giggle puss after that from that moment. There giggle was, puss. <laughs> Maybe we named the episode that. <laughs> hey, giggle puss! You can dance if you want to. Uh, so, um, my closing time is yeah, have fun topping that, buddy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I put out a uh, podcast. I'm getting married, bitch. I'm getting married. There you go. I should have let you drop the mic. That should. You got you got you got NBA two K eighteen. So guys, I bought NBA two K eighteen for the price of a plate at Joe's wedding. Yeah. <laughs> so how about that? Some filet uh, mignon. Uh, NBA two K eighteen spinach There's, and brie stuffed chicken. There was something I wanted to reference, uh, but I can't. I can't remember now. All I can think of is is you can dance. If have you, you guys want. played yeah, the you, the Madden? Story mode? Story mode? Yeah, I have. Beat yeah. the whole thing. Is it good? Yeah. yeah. It's like a Friday Night Lights episode. Yeah, that makes sense. That's Which kind of what it looks like. I have never watched. Me neither, to be honest. I've, I've never watched Friday Night Lights either, <laughs> but Perfect. I've seen the movie, so. Right. No, there's like, but then there was the TV there's show. Television show. There was just on Dork. Hashtag yeah. Dork. Yeah, yeah. Just I was just about to say that. Which, oh, nice. this, this I am a, a rare person where I just don't give a fuck about spoilers, and I'll watch the thing anyway, even if someone spoiled it for me. Yeah, like, yeah. I don't. I don't care. So I listened to the hashtag dork episode like about Friday Night Lights and about it. Yeah, and now about, I want to watch it. I'll just keep I'll, – I'll listen to – I don't care. Right. Like you don't ruin anything for me. Right. 
I watched, I listened to an episode of Kevin Smith's show talking about Superman before I saw it. It was like literally like two days after Superman came out. I was like, I'll see it. I'm still going to go see it. Yeah. Right. And like they did their review and I'm like mowing the lawn, listening to the review and just laughing. Like if I was anybody else, I'd be so pissed right now. Yeah. All the spoilers, but I don't care. Yeah. I really don't. I'll listen to it. My, uh, did you, did you ever get time. what it out? Like anything out? What? Your closing time. No, you, no, you guys just trampled me. <laughs> so, yeah, no, I got nothing. Um, no, my closing time was actually going to be to bring up Joe's wedding because I didn't know if you were going to. Oh. Because I remember last week, I was like, damn, I forgot to mention. And you're like, well, we have another episode. Uh, so, yeah, good luck with that. Um, yeah. That should be fun. And also. As they say, break a leg. Break a leg. It's not a show. Yeah, no, break a leg. You're still going to be up no, in I just front really of people. Want you to break no, we're telling you, Joe, break your. <laughs> you're going to be on. A, you're going to be on a golf course. Yeah, just, you're just bound please. to be like Tiger Woods. Whatever Something's going to happen. Break your leg. That's all I'm telling you. No, but also not to not to go from that to this, but uh, I think it's our duty. I would say, like being that you we do a pub- <laughs> well, that we do like a public forum show. Uh, like, my thoughts and well wishes to, like, Puerto Rico right now, whole island's out of power, right? Oh, because of all the hurricanes. Yeah, and Maria's... Shout out Hurricane right Jose. Yeah, there you go. You know? nice. yeah. yeah, props. Josie. <laughs> Hurricane <laughs> Josie. 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 Wreaking havoc. And also that fucking earthquake in Mexico. Yeah. Uh, there was one in Japan today, too. Unreal. 6.2 so, or something like that. I saw a really funny uh, meme where it's like, hey, can someone go to Maui and get the heart out of the necklace? I don't know if you've seen Moana or not. But I have. It's, uh, yeah, because it shows like the map, and there's just hurricanes all over the world, it looks like, right now. And they're like, can someone go get that fucking heart? <laughs> or whatever, because it's just like the end of the world right now. But just tough, tough break for the you know, southern part of the, 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 the continent here, and it's just like really tough break. I, I'm going to take the popular yeah. consensus. Yeah. It's all Trump's fault. It's all Trump's fault, right? He got elected. Right. End of the world. End of the world. That's it. It's all over. No, but just I mean, seriously, that's some scary shit to to be in in a. What if conspiracy theory? Yeah. Hurricanes. Huge Trump fans. Now they're just trying to get into the they're country. Just trying to get into the country. That's why they're all coming here. Right. They're just hurricanes. Big Trump Irma, fans. Yeah. Jose. Yeah. Maria. Right. Yeah. You think he's against some, Mexican right, immigrants? Right. Turns out. Or hurricanes are for him. Because I don't have the drop ready. <laughs> Conspiracy theory. My way back to that. What trying if, to kill him. What if that's Mexican named hurricanes coming right at coming right what at? What if you. Mexico developed a hurricane machine mm. and this is actually oh, their shit. assassination attempt on the and president? And that's why they had an earthquake because they've been launching hurricanes left and right. And, and the U.S. is like, lost. launch. Where's the earthquake machine, <laughs> just, Bobby? Just Bobby. Yeah. There's You're in a, charge of the earthquake machine. There's a large natural disaster button in every country. Yeah. And, and right Mexico's now. Mexico's got just, a hurricane machine. Russia's got tornadoes. Dis- we are having a natural disaster war with Mexico right yeah. now. And it's like the Cold War, but with <laughs> so, weather. But with weather. Now, uh, what do they call that? The project the uh, where you can control the weather? You know what I'm talking about? There's a conspiracy theory that's in there. No, there's a, sure there there's a, there was a episode of conspiracy theory where like they – Showed documents where, like, the government has tried to figure yeah. out ways. Yeah, to... Bill Gates owns some kind God of patent. It. I about, it's uh, it's like the something project. Bill Gates called. owns some kind of patent where he thinks he can control hurricanes or something like that. Mm-hmm. That's a real. That's well, true. Thanks, Bill Gates. Then yeah. it's all his I fault. I don't think hey, that they, hey, they ever. Hey, Bill, can you control these ones? Yeah. Yeah. Or could you stop? Knock it out. Or just yeah. stop. Yeah. Bill Gates is just like I'm driving down those property prices in Puerto Rico. Going to buy that whole <laughs> fucking island. <laughs> He could before so, that exactly, but why not? Why not? Why do that when you can get it on the cheap? So my condolences closing time has turned into a fucking joke, right? With the, the no, it's sad the, that with like the weather warfare between Mexico and the U.S. Th- well, it's not a joke, dude. Yeah, just, no, I mean, this is real thing. It's a real thing. Bobby lost the earthquake button, and now we don't know who's doing it's that shit. Well, no, it's like you think about like a couple of years ago, we had that hurricane that hit the like the you know hit the Jersey and hit part of New York and stuff, right? And Obviously, like, Long Island got hammered, but, like... Fucking Nesquamica w- Beach got hammered. Yeah. yeah. Washed away, dude. The fucking restaurants were taken out. Yeah, yeah. It, took, it took them a while to fucking rebuild that. That was tough. All of that tells me is I don't need to be... Live on, on the beach? Live on the beach. Give me a lake. I'm okay. Give me a lake any day. I'm okay. Good to go. I live right on... I live on what the, it tells me is now would be a perfect time to book a honeymoon to, yes, Puerto, Rico. to Puerto Rico. on that cheap, cheap. Except, yep. yeah, just like... 
you, you wouldn't get there. You got power. Yeah, I mean, just candles are fine. I'm in Puerto Rico. I know all the bad weather's behind us at this point. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, it's just looking up from here. Just uh, book it for like one day in the eye of the storm and then fly out. <laughs> just like, oh, we're going to be able to Look fly at the weather. In. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Have you heard about that uh, Southwest flight that flew through the hurricane? No. No. Literally, they were just like, oh, shit, we're in the hurricane. All Jesus. right, well. Well, I guess it's a good time to throw Nick out. <laughs> just, we gotta get, we got to get Nick out of here. So they, the, the like air to ground control literally guided them through like Holy the shit. like ripples in the hurricane and they got through it without dying. Jesus. Wow. That's crazy. Yeah. But yeah, so that was just a uh, drive. Self fucking up. pussy hurricane. Can't even take down a plane. Yeah, how about <laughs> that? But yeah, just crazy, crazy time right now. So if anyone's listening or whatever, if you if you have friends, you know, friends and family, friends whatever, like, know, yeah, you know, like, best wishes out to you guys. Absolutely. So that does it, I believe, for the show, right? Yes, so are we uh, Rocky like a hurricane playing us out? Mm, that'd be a no, good idea. That would be very insensitive. Very insensitive. I uh, we just sent out a bunch of donation stuff to Houston yeah. for for Harvey and. Every bone in my body wanted it to say, keep your head above water.